I tell you, I had to go digging around to find... I haven't used my PlayStation 3 in... I don't know. I don't know how long. And I had to go digging around for a USB... I think this is B? Cord? <laughs> like, where the fuck is one? And I went, oh, right. My, my Wii U has the same cord, so... <laughs> I had to use a, a the the USB cord for my Pro controller to charge up my PS3 controller. I I know that you can use a PS4 controller, and I was contemplating using that, but then I was just like, oh right, but the 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 PS button doesn't work on on the PS4 controller for whatever reason on the PS3. They didn't they didn't uh, program that in there, so I was just like, all right, fine, we'll go dig out a PS3 controller, find out how to charge it up. <laughs> We're gonna, we beat Resident Evil 3. Uh, interesting. We beat Resident Evil 3 um, on Saturday, on ye old Saturday. We're going to start up uh, Code Veronica tonight. Commandante Patas. Howdy, howdy. How you doing? Happy, uh, what's today? Happy Monday. Woo hoo hoo. And I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to play through, uh, Code Veronica. I was kind of just thinking that I was going to stop it just doing Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. But then I was like, ah, screw it. Let's go, let's go for the fourth one. This is Resident Evil 4. Code Veronica. Absolutely Resident Evil 4. I don't understand why this entry wasn't given a number. I don't I don't know why it wasn't given a number. That's that's weird, right? This this should have been four, right? Like that makes sense. Empty framework. Your mom's an empty framework. Oh. Okay. That was weird how that audio just came, like, screaming in. Uh, that seems kind of loud. It seems... It seems kind of loud, so we're going to turn that down. I don't want to go deaf. We'll go there. I don't know how loud the game's going to be. But that was, that was pretty doggone loud. I don't like it when it sounds... When it's like I'm screaming over stuff. Whatever floats your boat, you love retro gaming, so you're down with this title. Well, I mean, for sure. Hey, I'm a I'm a fickle gamer, for sure. It really comes down to like whatever I feel like doing. There's really not a rhyme or reason. I just I go, I wanna play this today, and then we play that. That's really how it goes. There's there's honestly not a rhyme or reason as to why I choose to play what just like i'm in the mood to do this now so then i play this now i haven't played this game in probably 20 years i've i've not played this in probably 20 years i turned it down and it still seems loud it still seems like why is this so loud That is so doggone loud. Hopefully that's a little bit better. All right. I'm turning it down in my headphones too. All right. Uh, yeah, it's been like 20 years since I... I've beaten this a couple times, but it was only on the Dreamcast. I've never played the X version of it, so I'm kind of excited to check that out. This game includes an autosave feature. When the hard drive access indicator is lit, please don't turn off the system. This is also on my OG PS3. My PS3 is really old. It's it's the big fat body PS3. Hopefully this... <laughs> I haven't used it in a long time. Hopefully it doesn't like shit itself in the middle of us playing this. I've put a lot of miles on that PS3. A lot of miles. How to play. Perfect. Let's check out the options and see what we got going on here. Monitor tuning. Don't care. Screen settings. 
Oh. <laughs> yes. We should totally make it smaller. Here we go. This, there we go. Right, right centered in the middle of the screen. That's weird. I want to make it bigger. Why is that a screen? <laughs> is that monitor tuning? Smaller is more cinematic. It very much is more cinematic. So those were great options. You know, it's, they don't give you any controller options. That's strange. I want all them hot controller options. All the other games had like 8 billion options for a controller. What's up, Thunder Raja? How you doing, dude? Happy Monday. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. How's the audio sound? I had to turn it down a bunch because the music was really loud, but how's it sound? Can we can we hear the guy talking? The music's really loud compared to everything else. Like that that Your voice. Identification number is WKD forty four ninety six. Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. What's up, Shed Mother? How you doing, homie? Happy Monday. How's life treating you? Because it's funnier that way? Because <laughs> it's funnier? Chicken parm, huh? I'm down with some chicken parm. Did you make sandwiches or just straight up chicken parmesan? Like a chicken parmesan sub. Last week was really rough for you, but hitting the reset today. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. I hope things improve. It's always good days and bad days. You don't know how to appreciate the good without the bad. That's a dumb thing to say. Clearly, you know how to pre. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I want to do that in the game. I want to do that in the game. It's going well. Chicken parm with spaghetti. With the uh, spaghetti. Don't move. They did nothing to those cutscenes. Can't have one without the other. Yep. But yeah, no, I hope things start to get better, dude. What did I have? Oh, we had uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Um, we made some Philly cheesesteaks. I used cheddar instead of Swiss or provolone. I was living on the edge. How did we end up in a jail cell? Why is it so dark? You had Swiss. You went for Monterey Jack. I can't see a fucking thing. Did she poop? Was Claire pooping? I heard the drops.
If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Okay. Hey, good for you. Am I playing the game now? I don't I can't tell. It's just a black screen with words on it. <laughs> Aha. Well, that looks nice and HD like. I wonder why they didn't do anything to the cinematics. Is their first name Monterey or Montgomery? Or Montague? Or Montoya? Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know. It might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Or Montana. <laughs> this is my favorite game now. <laughs> it's making footstep noises. <laughs> How do I interact? The square buttons interact? No. No, 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 no. Why is the square button interact? In what game was the square button ever interact? That's always been the run button. But there's no way to remap. All the other games gave you options. A hemostatic capsule's on the floor. It's empty. Great. All right. Well, I mean, it just means I've got to, like... X is run now. It's so weird. It's different. I don't like different. Go back to normal. Why would they change that? Why would they change that? It's so dark. Can we actually? Oh, no. I said start in. So, is it select? Oh, that's just monitor. Oh. That doesn't actually let you control the brightness. Holy crap, is it dark? Ah, oh, well. We'll just have to, uh, you know, get used to game being game, right? I'll learn. I'll learn. Montana Jack's a super manly name. Certainly a name, Montana Jack. Montana Jack was a farming man. Montana Jack had only one hand. Montana Jack lost it to a coyote battle. Montana Jack also stole a rattlesnake's rattle. Don't ask him how he got his name, for his parents are not to blame. For he is the king of Montana. <laughs> I made a poem. <laughs> it's a list of prisoners. My name is at the end. WKD4496, Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. Umbrella, umbrella Medical Unit, Umbrella Medical Paris, 
third security unit leader, Rodrigo Juan Raval. Rodrigo Juan Redel. I know how to speak Spanish. No, I don't. What? His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need hemostatic medicine. We need to give him some drugs. So, how do we do the map? What button's map button? Triangle does not do it. Oh, triangle did it. it. Takes a long time to load anything in this game. Now we just need to jam on the square button. This is HD. I don't like having to hit the square button. I want to hit the X button. Oh, free roaches. Free roaches is great. I don't have a gun. Also, what's that thing in my menu? What's this? Playing manual? I want this. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command on the status screen. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. Oh, we're back to this. Try to push objects. If you face an object and then press and hold the up button, sometimes you'll be able to push it. You may find rooms and items hidden this way. Use the quick turn. Ooh, now that's nice. You can turn 180 degrees instantly by pressing... X while holding the down button. This is a very effective move when you attack an enemy and want to turn around and run. Right. Use the map screen. When you're lost or unsure what to do, check the map. You can easily tell you've where you've never been and can see which doors have been locked. Very nice. Climb, descend. You can climb, descend some objects to do this. Face the object and press square. Uh, security boxes, the items you store in a security box and prison area cannot be accessed through an item box. Make sure you remove all important items from a security box before exiting. Ex existing, existing room. <laughs> before existing a room. I will make it exist. <laughs> what, what? Before existing. You'd think... You'd think that after all the revisions that this game has had, they would have, you know, fixed the spelling error. <laughs> no. 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 We're gonna let it exist. Now see, that's how you use exist. It's so confusing. Quick turn changed the game. It definitely made it. Not as fun as this. This, this is still better. We're like a lighthouse. I do like the dynamic shadows. That's pretty cool. Yeah, quick turn's really nice. Get you get you out of a pickle for sure. Have we not gone up the stairs yet? How long does it take to go upstairs? What are you? A truck used for transport. Oil is leaking from the crashed wreck. A dead body and a briefcase can be seen. I want it. Give me. I, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. The fact that you can see things, I'm jealous. Hey, I found the briefcase. 
Oh. But that's the undead. You've seen zombies before, Claire. Well, this is a pickle. And they're naked, but they don't have genitals. That's weird. I guess when you die, your genitals fall off. No one ever told me when I died my genitals fell off. That was my computer apparently. Where did we get that gun? Don't shoot. Zombie? Well, great. We're right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought Dory. another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. Once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! Okay, bye. I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Okay. Go back to Canadia. Uh, you've taken the handgun that we found. Did I lose the lighter? What button is the... Each game does something different. Wait, did that give me, like, stats? My blood type is zero. My height is 5'5", five, five, and we, uh, we, we weigh 115 pounds? Nice. Why do I need that information? Is that important information? Takes a very long time for things to pop up. He's not breathing. Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently a dustbin. Okay. Nerd! My blood type is hot fire. Is it now? That's crazy. What's up, smoke that solid purple OG Kush? Thanks for the host. How you doing today? Ooh, that was cool. I like that. That was that was dynamic. It was a dynamic camera. I dig it. So how many... How many exits do we have? We've got one to the right, and then one to the top. So this one... It's so different! The controls are so different. This is the central gate of the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved into the hollow. Well, that's good to know. Now we have information. All 
right, I've got a, how do I use my gun? Oh, there we go. I got a gun. It's really dark and it's hard to see. But I guess it's nighttime. And so that makes sense. Hi. Abandoned materials are piled up here. Nothing useful. Typical. Typical, typical. Map looks pretty tight. Looks all right for now. Looks all right for now. I wonder if it gives us any useful information. You know, like in later Resident Evil games, you know, where there's like items and stuff like that to change? Item, save point, item box. Yeah, this is kind of what I was saying. Remember in, like, later Resident Evil games, like the, the remakes and stuff, they tell you there's, like, items in the room? I wonder if this does it. You know, this map is actually pretty cool. I agree. This map is pretty awesome. Standard map. So there, there must be an item in here, then, I imagine. Somewhere. Oh, look at that. Been locked with a padlock. Can we shoot off the padlock? I do enjoy a good shooting of padlock. I'm, I do find the, the new controls strange, and I don't like the fact that they don't let you re change anything. Because in prior Resident Evil games, they definitely allowed you to, like, switch stuff around. I'm kind of surprised they don't allow you to do that here. I didn't want to pick that up. Alright, well, we have it now. It's our prize. Go out the door! I can't see! Am I shooting anything? I can't see a fucking thing. It's so dark. Why did they make this so dark? Uh, inventory. It's not that it's not that dark on your stream. You might want to just yeah, I may have to. It does look brighter on the it does look brighter. So I'm being forced to use a device. So the the PS3 and the PS TV have uh HDCP. I think that's what it's called. Which is uh it 
basically is like a copyright protection that doesn't allow the PlayStation 3. On the PS4, you can turn it off for whatever reason on the PS3 and the PS TV, you can't. And so it's got like a copyright protection thing on it. So it prevents me from having to directly capture from the PS3. So I need to use this little dongle, which is just a splitter for the most part, but it, it gets rid of the HDCP for whatever reason. So I've got to use that. And I think that it screws with my, uh, my settings. I wonder, I wonder if I turn up the brightness on the TV. I don't even know if I could do that. My remote doesn't exactly work so well anymore. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, none of the buttons work! I can't go down. I can't go down. I'm hitting down and it won't go down. You guys can't see it, but it won't go down. Uh, well, that's a problem. All right. Well, looks like <laughs> looks like it's staying the way it is. This toilet has some rather disgusting stains. A horrible smell lingers, like all toilets. Even if you clean them, they smell bad. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Shabby magazines are piled up here. Nice. Half-eaten food items are scattered in the area. It does look way better. It's way more. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> it'll just... It'll make it more intense for me, you know? That's all. We do like it intense. There's Goombas? That guy's coming to life. He's going to plop off that bed. You can just tell he's going to plop. That's a plopper. Prisoner's Diary. May 13th, this room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me... That Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. May 16th. Today Bob told some crazy story of why he would why he was put this place with me. <laughs> Today Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put this place with me. Just making sure I read that right the first time. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. May 21st. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. May 27th, since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I'm next. It's obvious that we are all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Die. Smoking and drinking. Unfortunately, not today. I got coffee, though. Huh? Oh, I was going to say hi to him. And then he just came in. Ah! Oh, no! I don't have a gun!
I'm fine. Become clear. Say I haven't even saved yet. We're dead. Good thing I could see that zombie. This is great. I can't, I can't adjust my TV settings. It needs to be brighter. Like, it is, like, impossibly dark. I, I can honestly see nothing. Like, when the, when that, when I don't have that, I can't, I can't see a thing. Without the lighter. Push up your lighter. Push up your lighter. Ah, uh -huh. Mr. Sparkle, though. It took up two inventory spots? <laughs> no. Claire does like sandwiches, like most, like most uh, cold-blooded Americans, we like, we like sandwiches. Ice cream sandwiches, that is. Where the hell'd you come from? Pork chop sandwich. Holy shit, that smells delicious. Pork chop sandwiches? Get the fuck out of here! Pork chop sandwiches. Player got her second COVID shot. Are you sure, though? I think she needs a tetanus shot after all this. You don't know what these zombies got. Maybe she's got herpes. You don't... I mean, they clearly don't bathe. Use it now? Oh, that's cool. No, though. Super herpes. She has a new strain of herpes called super herpes. That sounds right to me. That sounds right. Super herpes goes into your ears. Ooh. Yeah. No, I don't want that. I don't, I don't know. Herpes that talk and have eyeballs. That's not how herpes works. It seems that someone didn't finish their soup. Idiots. Ungrateful idiots. You always got it. Uh, eat your soup. Don't forget to eat your soup. All right. I don't know what else we're looking for. Probably, hopefully, not dying. Right. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. That's. It's definitely not good. Oh, 
Also, also not good. Big hole in the wire netting. It's a blood stain under the eaves. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's fine. Whatever's under there is fine. Oh, good. I'm gonna try something here. Is there is there a setting here that we can do with like brightness and stuff? Oh, no, I don't. Adjust settings O for video. I don't want that. Display settings. No! Ah! How do I return to the game? PlayStation button. Alright. For the past two games, the 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 triangle button or the wide button has been the like inventory so now we have to go back to using start it's weird i can't tell if they're pee-peeing themselves It's bad that my remote doesn't work. I tried to clean it. I think it's just like dirty, like the contacts over the years have gotten dirty. But I couldn't pop it open. Like I took the screws out and it didn't want to open up. So it's not like it's something I can force without like shattering the remote. Well, that's a lot of zombies. They're definitely going to break out of that. Oh. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. The release switch of the metal detector. The deactivation lamp is on. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Uh-uh! But, oh, this is how we die. Uh, I'm depositing.
And now we can't see. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. I did. I did not. An ink ribbon is metallic? Deposit any metallic items <laughs> is an ink ribbon metallic? Box. What? Who oh, can't have that ink ribbon? Can I get my items back now? Nope. Nope. I got a first aid spray. User's manual. 3D duplicator user's manual. They got a 3D duplicator? It'd be a shame if you could save here. That'd just be a punch in the face, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be. Our new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D scanner portion. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Duplicator portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. What? What are you saying to me? The conversion will be executed with the complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. So I can copy things, but I need material to be consumed for it to be copied, I guess. A control panel of a 3D scanner, there's an activation switch. Push switch, yeah. Activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material you wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of the machine. I don't have anything. The materials are set. I can restore the object. So we got to find like a way to like get a gun or something. B.O.W. gas rounds? No, I don't have anything that can fire that. Flame rounds? Don't have anything that can fire that. Cool, though. If I go out here, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, maybe not. Am I typing on the computer? Facts on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room. Chief Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for prison area D. Details follow. Visitor's name, Carl Grisham. Purpose of entry. Carrying in the following materials. One, new product sample from Metal Industries Company, TGO1. Two, various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Uh, note, one, will use a transportation truck. Two, TGO1 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Oh, that's what was all up in that briefcase. All right, who's typing in here? Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah, your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? Well done. 
got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. You can contact Leon, but not your brother? <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. Somebody's a uh, moody patootie. Look at this guy playing your favorite Resident Evil. Look at me do it. And I'm doing a bad job. Hawk emblem. Got it. Nerd! Thanks for the host. Uh, this guy, happy Monday. How you doing, homie? The email to Leon has already been sent. Why would you send an email to Leon and not to Chris? Management documents are stored here. A lock release device. Put the lever up. Okay. What did that do? The shutter lock has been released. I don't know what that means. It can't be good, though. There's a door out there, I I guess. We've got a save here. I haven't saved yet. That would be a good idea to save. Security monitors are lined up. These may have been used to monitor the prisoners. Great. Can't see anything. All right, TV, you got to go brighter somehow. I'm just going to, like, jam on buttons until buttons do stuff. Uh, just go down. Uh, go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Uh, up. Left. Right. Like, this whole thing is just dead. Ah, oh, man. I need a, I need a universal remote for my TV. It's, it's all busted. I'm doing a all right. I just want it to go brighter. Just go down. <laughs> Use the deep. Oh, no, no. Channel numbers don't go down. There's nothing else that's going to select. That sucks. That really sucks. What does light do? Light. Boom. No, that's just light for the remote. That did not help. Turn that off. Yeah, my, my little D-pad here on the remote doesn't work anymore. So I can't, I can't like do adjustments on the screen and shit. That's really unfortunate. I need some brightness. <laughs> it's too dark. I can't see. All right, uh, whatever. That's a for later thing, I guess. And there aren't buttons on the TV. You know how, like, some TVs have, have like, buttons on the side that you can, like, touch and hit to do adjustments and stuff? Mine doesn't have that. Or does it? I don't think it does. All right, we saved finally. All right, we're great. The door is being held by something. It can't be open from this side. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, I clearly can see what I'm doing in here. Nope, it's, it's not possible to see.
I'm definitely gonna die to something. There's zombies in here already? Reflect. The emblem. Copy it. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do. Because the emblem's metal, so this will make it not metal? 3D data transmission complete. Cool. Okay, so... An auto-duplicator. If the materials are set, I can restore the... Oh, shit. No, there's, there's nothing you can do in the game pause menu. Won't do anything. Monitor tuning, like, I can't do anything. Please adjust the brightness of your monitor. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no, like, in-game anything. It might help a little. Really sucks that they don't let you do that. Three D data has been prepared. What materials? Here, use use that. So do it. I don't, okay, obviously we don't have whatever it is that we need to do that. Yeah, my TV menu. Yeah. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. I'm assuming the first aid spray is metallic. I don't want the stupid MP100 thing. Or the knife. Yeah. And uh, I can't I can't use my TV menu because my remote's broken. <laughs> it looks fine on stream. It is unbelievably dark on my on my screen. I genuinely can't see much here. Like, there's, like, a glow of Claire, and that's it. Uh... Do I have the gun equipped? Hold on, hold on. Do I have the gun equipped? Why? Shoot the exploding thing! I can't see anything, it's so dark! It didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I 
I'm a fucking head and I visit an evil cock Veronica. XHD. What's up, Snurpy? How you doing? How you doing, man? How's your, uh... That's pretty quick. That's a pretty quick uh, reload, though. I'll, I'll, I'm down with that. How's uh, how's life treating you, dude? How was League of Legends? I saw you being a League of Legends nerd. I saw you being League of Legends nerd. Did you win the League of Legends? Were you were you a legend? Or are you anti legend? Don't be anti legend, okay? You lost a lot, was mostly fun, but some matches were really rough. Sounds about right, right? We're not, I can't do it. We did part of it, though. Okay, this time I won't die. Yeah, yeah. Interact. Okay, we're great. All right, now to die again. <laughs> now to die again. Are you playing any ranked games, Starfy, or are you just doing, like, Scrubland? Aha! Stop biting my legs, man. I need those. Starting Hollow Knight tomorrow. Nice. That sounds dumb. All right, I got a fire extinguisher. Use the MPs. No, you use the MPs. What if I need them? Something seems to have been tied up here. Fresh blood is stuck to the wall. A person might have been tied to the pillar. What pillar? <laughs> I can't see anything. Take longer next time. Oh! Oh, that's nasty. Hollow Knight's really fun. Have you, uh, have you ever played Hollow Knight, Starby? Yep, now we're dead. There's an indentation on the indigo blue plate. Indigo blue? Your mom's indigo blue. Okay. You have not played Hollow Knight first time. Sweet, dude. You a you a fan of like two D platformers and Metroidvania style stuff? Oh, sweet! Yeah, it's a it's a really fun game. I don't wanna I don't wanna sit around and be like, oh man, it's like the greatest game of all time because so many people talk that game up. But you use them, you run Code Veronica often. Nice. I haven't played this game in twenty years. <laughs> So I do not, I don't, I do not run this game often. I do die often, though. I do die often. I have, I have mastered the art of dying. Loved Ori in the Blind Forest. Have you played the uh, new Ori? The, uh, it's completely nailed down. It's impossible to open. Uh, Will of the Wisps. That's a really good one, too. If you enjoyed Ori in the Blind Forest... 
Will of the Wisps is like even more fun saying you haven't played the second one yet nice well that's something to look forward to oh my god I can't see oh what's happening run Claire cool I'm gonna go back this way I'm gonna open up that padlock You don't know, game. I could need it. It's on your to-do list. Yeah, that's a really good one. I hope you have fun with Hollow Knight. It's uh, it's one of the few Metroidvanias that actually offers a solid challenge. Like, there is definitely some... Quite a bit of difficulty in that game. But nothing I would ever say is, like, completely unfair. Truck used for transport looked like it crashed into the wall. All right, I'm going to let that guy bite the other guy, because hey, he seems hungry. Where am I going now? This way. You know, let him... Let him enjoy his meal. What? I thought that was the... Oh, it's in front of me. Okay. You just... <laughs> I can't see anything. I see nothing. Okay. No, don't, no, no. No, shoot the one in front. It's on fire. If I could see what was happening, I wouldn't shoot these zombies so much. Considering I cannot, I, I can't even see where we are. It's so dark. I have no ammo now. Perfect. Well, we've got the MP1 billion, so. Yep, that's not doing anything. All right, but now I have you. Genius. Yes. Good. Check. There's a button. I love buttons. TG-01 was inside the briefcase. There was also an explanation document for the special alloy TG-01. I don't care. TG-01 product description. Thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time, we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy TG-01. Oh, TG-01 features? One, cannot be detected by any metal detectors. Two, cannot be pictured by re and re ro antigenography ro antigenography at the immigration check? ro and Roentgenography? 
Rowan genography. That is not a word. <laughs> Rowan genography. Row, row, re enter genography. Is this really a word? Row and genography. Row and genography. This can't be real. No one. Row, no one. No one. Row, row and genography. It's a thing. <laughs> it's... X ray photography. What would you just call it X ray photography? <laughs> I know of I know of uh uh radiology and radiograms and stuff, because that's that's what I thought that that was in reference to. I had never heard of Rowent genography. So I got you the X rays that they take when you go through checkpoints and stuff it can't be detected by that okay cannot be pictured by x-rays just say x-rays <laughs> just say x-rays uh let's roll entgenography row entgenography am i saying it right lightweight yet durable we plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovative new ally rent genography why is there an O there? <laughs> Why is there an O there? Rentgenography. 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 Genography. <laughs> Rowent genography. I'm saying Rowent genography. Rentgenography. <laughs> <laughs> Both are correct according to Oxford. Well, when it comes to English, the Oxford Dictionary is generally one of multi-purpose uses. Rent genography. I like genophages. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Meet Industries Company Chief Development Planning, Carl Redhill. G and J. Rentgenography. Rentgenography. Generation, genome, gerbil, Jeff, Jeffrey. Mm -mm. It's J. Rent genography. It's weird to have an O in front. That hurts my brain to think about, I'll tell you that. Well, you know what? I love learning. I love learning, and I think we've learned. I think we've learned. I think we've learned. And learning is half the battle. I have no ammo left. We're fucked. Like, if I wasn't fucked before, we are definitely fucked now. Rent genography. Rent genography. Uh, first off. I can't see. I can't believe I made it by those zombies. I really can't see anything. It's pitch black.
Everything's dead, though, so we've got that going for us. I'll take that. Oh, uh, except for those two zombies and all those dogs. What? Please deposit How? any metallic items you have in the security box. Oh, I don't have to drop that off. Oh, I got the lighter. Stupid non-plastic lighter. Naka Naka is me Chewbacca. All right, now we've got. I got a plate. Now we can etch out my emblem. Perfecto. Never doubt. Duplication complete. Take the SP Alloy Emblem. I love the SP Alloy Emblem. It's my favorite emblem. Okay. Yep. That's good. Because I can totally squeeze by those guys without a problem. Holy crap. That was horrid. Uh, lighter. I, mean, I doubt I, it's empty. Why do I need an empty? Unless I can beat an enemy over the head with it. Oh, yeah, I'm fucked. I got bit like 12 times there. Or I got grabbed like 12 times. It's like getting bit 12 times. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I definitely can't see shit here. I can't see. I can see nothing. Like, I, I can see zero. Like, I absolutely can see zero. Go through door? Door has been completely destroyed. Nice. I like it. Alright, what's the map look like over here? Prison. Aren't I already in a prison? Oh, those were stairs. I see that, though. What? There was ammo there. I synced it. Uh, I guess we got to get it from the other side, then. Rent Ganography. What? 
How do you get the ammo? Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Oh, I see what they want me doing here. I like climbing over boxes and stuff. I'm a I'm a I'm a box climber. I'm a box climber. Those were stairs. I can't see anything. This is horrible. I really need to find a way to adjust the TV settings. I I, I can see nothing. <laughs> in a a literal version of playing the game blind I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, I'm running into the fire. Uh, I think I'm dead. What popped out of him? What was that? What popped out of him? Why is it on? It was his hat. Yeah, we are definitely dead. She can take a lot of damage, though. It's pretty good. No, puppy! Where am I going? Okay. Oh, good. Secured with a simple lock, we're dead. Now, I've got healing. We can use, I can combine the green herbs. A map of this building is shown on the mark. It seems I can print it out. Hell yeah, print the map out. Nice technology. It's like the future. I just wanted to save room.
Haha, <laughs> we're fine. Easy. Perfect. What? Nothing useful. Cereal, there's plenty of light in here. No, there's not. There's zero light in here. I can see nothing. Should I, should I have a bow gun already? Am I gonna get a bow gun? Uh, it seems I need a special key to release the lock. Good. We'll find it. Eventually. Maybe. Open the lockers. The lockers have things in it that people store. No. They do not. Good. I didn't want I didn't want stuff anyways. It's quite a mess. There's nothing useful. Yeah. We'll eventually find something, right? Oh, there was an herb right here. What kind of herb? A red herb! God damn it. Robbed. Robbed, I tell you. Card reader, silver and color. I don't know what good that's going to do me. Uh, those glass roofs are kind of frightening. Oh, I bet you it, like, switches sides. There's so many enemies. I'm not thirsty right now. You're always thirsty, Claire. Or is that me? I'm always thirsty. a bow gun, man! No! I was canceling! Uh-oh. And we're hurt already. Sure, 8 billion bowgun. I don't have a bow. If I had a bowgun, I'd be using the bowgun! Oh my god! <laughs> it's too much. Too much. There was uh, more bowgun ammo in the other room. I guess since I picked it up, I might as well grab this too.
I really just want to be um, the my biggest problem is I can't like avoid zombies because I can't see them. That's my that's my issue here. It's like a dead end if we go this way, sure. It's all over. We're dead. We in like a sauna or something like that? What? Okay, jump in the pool. Zombies can't go in the pool. Yes? There's no response. It seems to be broken. Somewhere there should be a circulation pipe. Oh, good. A valve is attached to the... Yep, shut it. All right. We turned off the mouth drips. Got to remember to always turn off the mouth drips. Key with a tag. All right, sure. All right, key with a tag. What are you? A small key made of steel with the word store age. Store age. It's broken. It's a lot of hot air on the inside. <laughs> we're, oh, we're at like a gym. That's why there was a locker room and a sauna. A workout facility. Where's all the iron to pump? I find a surprisingly lack of iron to be pumping. You duh, use the storage key. There better be... Good. Throw it away. There's not a bow gun? Bow gun powder. What? <laughs> That's what I did that for? Powder? That doesn't seem right to me. Does that seem right to anybody else? We did all that for powder? That albino kid from the movies that had magical properties? Who appeared to also have alopecia? Too dark to see inside. Yup. <laughs> yup. I agree. Okay. See, now I'm happy. There's a file. Memo on the pass number. The emergency door lock system in the biology experiment room can be released with the four-digit pass number. Great. I hope you haven't forgotten about that already. Just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So, in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I have decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. If you happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency pass number anyway, but just in case, 
Now you know, take it easy, Mr. Careless. That's me, I'm Mr. Careless. Wait. It's a blood stain. They're conducting animal experiments here? Yeah, probably. It's too dark to see in there. Probably for the best, because something smashed his face. I want to go in there. There appears to be no one around. A red picture is hanging in the back. I can't see the number from here. You sure? I definitely can't see anything. <laughs> I definitely can't see anything. That wasn't good. That was bad. Biohazard contamination detected. Level 3. Emergency shutters will close. All personnel evacuate immediately. I wanted to check the other room. <sighs> that was close. Uh, now what do we do, though? So much boga and arrow. Ammo. Bow gun arrow. Ammo. So that's it. That's what we came in here for was nothing. Ventilation is complete. So do I ventilize something? Let's... Can we ventilize? That we There's a fan in here. That's good, right? I need a silver... Key card? There were just zombies in here in that key. I don't think there's anything else in here. Right, well, we can't go back upstairs, or at least any way that I can tell. Okay, well, I think I'm done here for now. Right, how to deal with like 8 billion dogs. No puppy, no puppy, no puppy, no puppy, no puppy, no puppy, no puppy. Easy every time. Okay. I don't know where I'm going! I guess we're going here.
I think that's ammo on the counter, right? Good. It's a computer. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Please enter your ID number. Uh, four. <laughs> Yeah, I tried. <laughs> it could have been four. Could have been four. We don't know. Four is a good number. It's round. It's electronically locked. Great. Oh. I hear bats. That's not good. Are they going to attack me? Oh, if I have the lighter, maybe not. Yeah, not right now. I don't have a lot of inventory space. Ooh, I got inventory space for that. The turlet is a mess, as turlets tend to be. Duro loot. What? Duralumin. Duraluminium. Is there a button on this one too? I don't have a lockpick. That is a problem. I don't have a place to put down any of our shit either. Where do I put my stuff? I have too much stuff again. I am over encumbered. There hasn't been a save room in like 8 billion years. It's a long time. A huge portrait's on display here. Well, too bad I can't see it. It's locked. Silver crest is carved here. Perfect. I don't want to go in there anyways. God, 12 years later. It's our first item box. Nice. I don't know if we're going to need any of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what's... So I can't read the books or anything? Okay. There's a book here. Secretary's note. Four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I'm his attendant, I'm still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing in the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I'm his attendant, he will not show me any leniency. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dorson. I already know the twist. The... There is evidence that the shelf has been moved. Hmm. I can't see the room. It 
Is that like an herb right here? It is. Sweet. Well, I missed that red herb now. Here, let's just push it. It looks like there's something under it. I don't understand why she just can't pick up what's under it. It looks like there's something under it, which you can't put your hand under. She's got she's got massive hands. Oh, we got the ID card now. Okay. It's locked. There's an indentation in the shape of two guns. Okay. Do I need two guns? There we go. We got two guns. Can I put them in the door? The wrong button. Okay, that's not what they want. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. I see the save there and stuff. We'll hit it up in a second. We'll hit it up in a second. I want to use my ID card to hack. Oh, hold on. Hi. An ID card for an umbrella employee. The word NTC0394 is written on it. I can remember that. That's memorable. Got it. N T C zero three nine four. I'm a genius, right? Yo, security lock system is deactivated. Goodbye, ID card. I should go say. Yep. And there is ammo right there. But I can come back and grab that. Uh, I guess maybe we'll try and use the bow gun a bit. We've got a ton of ammo for that, so why not? I think maybe if I combine the explosive powder with something, we can have explosive bow gun tips. Not entirely sure how that'll work out for me, but it does sound neat. Okay, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try something here. Explosive diary. You shut up, man. My booty hole is fine for now. Yeah, the game saved. So I want to see I want to see if we can adjust any sort of settings in in the PlayStation menu. There's like a brightness thing for this. It's HDMI. Custom. Select all resolutions that are supported by your TV, not 1080i. <laughs> no one supports 1080i. Okay, well, that didn't do anything for me. Oh, 
Oh, God. There's nothing in here either. This is just for uh, movies and stuff, I guess. I was hoping that there might be something in here. Ah, oh, this sucks. Maybe there's something in system settings? Is there a system settings? Accessory, power, name, language. Display what's new? Who cares about what's new? Nothing. Damn, man. I was hoping there might be something. Printer settings? You can hook up a printer? That's kind of cool. I don't know what you would do with that. Oh, I already went in here. There wasn't anything here. We should format the hard drive. A track? I, I, an A track? You could play A tracks? <laughs> I want an A track. No, it doesn't look like there's anything. That sucks. I'm going to look at my TV real quick and see if there's something on there that I can check. Hold on. I'm going to just check my TV out and see if there's like one of those panels on the side and screw around. I don't think that there are, though. What about Betamax? I had a friend that had Betamax. And they had E.T. I think there's something here. There are buttons. Oh my god, there's buttons. I can't see them because it's behind the TV, though. Oh, they can do stuff. Oh, we might be in business here. Okay. Okay. No, that didn't do it. I can't. I can't see behind the TV, but there's buttons. There's buttons, dude. We're we we are in the go. I just can't see anything. I literally can't get behind my TV. All right. If I fall, you guys hear a loud noise. It's not my fault. Okay. So this is down. Oh my god. All right, brightness. Up. That's down! I want up! No! I turned the brightness down! <laughs> there we go. I turned I turned the brightness down. You know what? That's that's a win for me. The fact that we have that the have that. All right, I don't know. I guess we can load the game. And I can check and see Oh, this is this is great. Which one's load? The top one's load. I can't see it because the menu's in the way right now. This one? Is it the second one? I'm going with the second one. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it's brighter. I've never had this issue before. Well, I have, but you can always adjust stuff in-game. Alright. Let's see here. How does that look? It's better. It's not great. I think I need to increase it more. Here. Oh my god. I'm a beat up ass chair. Uh, which one was it? This one. Alright. Two. Crap. I've never had to turn it up so high. That's crazy. How does one reupholster a leather chair? 
How does one do that? I need to get like a sheet or something for this thing. My sh my chair is just like in in such bad disrepair. It's so sad. I love this chair. It's my favorite chair. Like we make out like every day. I don't know if it's actually better or not. It seems a bit better. I think I can turn it up more. Let's see a couple of other rooms. This one's pretty dark, but I think I need to turn it up even more. It was at 38 before, and now I have it at 68. And you'd think that'd be enough. It is markedly better, though. I, I couldn't see shit before. What about outside where all the dogs and stuff are? Can they not? <gasps> they can come up! <laughs> Dogs can use stairs. My friend had a Betamax. It was the only reason why I knew what it was. One of our next door neighbors had a Betamax. It was pretty cool. I had no idea what it was because uh, my parents had bought a VHS because, you know, porn. <laughs> I don't think that was why. But my friend, he had one, and, uh, dude, that picture was so freaking clear. It was so much better than the VHS. I remember, because I had E.T. and he had E.T. They had a bunch of Betamax movies, but we, we weren't able to watch too many of them. We watched Jaws and E.T. I think there was one more. Like, I think maybe they had the Goonies. I don't know. Goonies seems a bit not right but they had they had a couple of other movies that we were able to watch a bunch of them you know were for the parents the adults of the house yeah i think i want to increase it just a little bit more and then we'll just go on and keep playing i'm just going to turn it up a bit more here because compared to what i can see on on stream it's still way brighter and that actually looks halfway decent i'm going to try and get to there that is the wrong button there we go Oops. This is great. I'm glad that this exists. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now I got I went up another 10 points on the brightness. Oops, I need my headphones. And I think we're good there. God, man, I went up 40. Brightness was at 38. I gotta remember to bring it back down to that, because I, I use this for all my gaming and stuff, and that's gonna be way too bright for any other game other than this. Why did I hit that button? Yeah, just, it looks so much better on stream than it does for me. That's up upsetting that this it's not the same picture. Right, let's see here. I actually wanna, I'm gonna, I wanna look at this. The screen projector of the capture. It's a pretty small image on OBS. Yeah, that's about what I have now. Windows update. Fuck you. Go away. Gotta remember to turn that off. Yeah, that looks so much clearer. That's better. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's it's way better than what it was before. I just have to remember to turn it back down. All right, yeah, this will make life way better. All right. Uh, let's go. Because now I can actually see what the hell's happening on screen. I kid you not. Anytime there was something dark, I couldn't see. I was just... <laughs> I was just running blindly through things. Like, when, when, when we put out the fire on the truck... In that, in that scene, I could honestly see nothing. There were zombies in there, and I couldn't see anything. Could absolutely see nothing. Okay, let's equip our... Good, I still have the ribbons. You never want to be without your ribbons. 
All right, let's see how the uh, bow gun does. Oh, okay, really bad. All right. The bow gun in the other games worked way better. I can't see what we're aiming at. <laughs> it made a good noise, though. So it takes about eight... I don't think I wanted to do that. All right, they all peed themselves. You go pee pee. There's nothing worse than in a Resident Evil running around a corner and a zombie grabbing you. Or a liquor biting your head off. Well, at least we're getting some more ammo again. No, don't check it. Combine. I feel better. I feel better. I was down and out. I was feeling pretty shitty that my remote was broken. But now I'm happy. We don't need a remote. Combat knives are displayed here. Guns! No, that's a door! There's the guns on the side of the door. Two handguns are displayed. Alright, so somehow we're gonna have to crack that open. A model fighter plane. Visual references are placed. War seems to be the primary thing. Gotta love war. War. Good God, y'all. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Wow. All right, maybe I'm going a little overboard there. A model ship is displayed here. Cool. Two magnums. One's a tiny one and one's a big one. Like me. A jewel modeled after an N is displayed here. There's a button below it. Push it. Hell yeah, push the button. Oh, right. It's the creepy-ass film. Do you ever sit around with your little sister and mutilate bugs? Living creatures? You, brother, you did such a good job pulling that dragonfly's wings off. Let me kiss you on the mouth now. What the hell was that? Creepy ass fucking kids. Guns from many countries are on display. I saw the, whatever the boat, boat wheel, boat wheel, steering wheel. You know, same thing, boat wheel, steering wheel, same thing. Archaic military items are stored here. Pair of gold lugers, take them, hell yeah, gold lugers. Pew pew, pew pew. I'm a die. Put him back. Yes. Put him back.
All right. So that was bad. Now we've learned. I feel as though you could move the projection screen. Has anyone ever used a projection screen before? They're not like nailed into the wall when they come down. I feel as though she could just go whoop and tap a tap a tap a tap a, right? We're not very smart. We need our buddy, uh, Murphy. The kid. The kid's got double guns, right? Tony? Tuberculosis. Gold crust is carved on it. Well, Tony. Terry. Tippy? Thomas. Tag. Toothy? What's his name? An earthenware pot. An elaborate floral design is drawn on it. Great. Toby. Kangaray. Skippy. I don't think any of these are it. What am I going to do with a damn boat wheel? I'm the sea captain now. Blinks. Fuck you, Shed Mother. <laughs> You just made me sad. I laughed, but in reality, I was sad. In reality, I was sad. Way to bring back awful memories of the past. Terrible, traumatic memories of the past. I thought we were never going to speak of blinks again. Waterway piping's broken. Alright, now use the boat wheel. But use the boat wheel. Oh, what a terrible game. What a terrible, terrible game. The toilet's made out of marble. Yo, man, imagine having a marble turlet. That'd be kind of cool. That final boss is burned into your memory forever. Oh, it's mine too. Did you know they made a sequel? Shut up, smoke that solid purple OG, because you know Blinks is not tight. You Have you played it? Because if you have, well, maybe it is. Maybe you do enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, I hate you. <laughs> I hate everyone that enjoys that game, because they have no taste in video games. Zero. Zero taste in video games. I believe anyone that likes Blinks is into CBT. Now, not to say there's anything wrong with CBT, but that's a special kind of CBT I can't get down with. Never played it, but watching you rage was tight. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it. Oh, oh, okay. I'm down with that, though. That, that might be hands down one of the worst gaming experiences I've ever had. I don't, I don't know if it was worse than Rodea, but... It felt worse than Rodea. It made me it made me hate video games. It it actually made me hate video games. That's how much I disliked yeah! it. Help me. Steve? Not Steve. Where do you think Steve is? Man, you got to know about the CBTs. Steve is suffering. There's a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate. There's switches. Two pairs? 
A. F. Uh. C. E. Uh. B. D. There's no response. He's dead. We had to let him close. suffer a little. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait, Steve! So if I use all the ammo in those guns, then do I... Do I win? Like, I can, I can use all the ammo in the MPs and then give them to him? And then they will have no ammo? <laughs> can we, can we do that? I'll trade you for something fully automatic. Redfield! How dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you can lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me! I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! Get him. The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> That's exactly how I left. <laughs> I hurt my throat. Oh. He's he's gone now. He he walked away. I thought he was going to keep firing at me. Nerd. I'm going to find your sister. And I'm going to hug her. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure we can't go this way unless Steve is in here. Steve! Nope. Oh, 
I'll trade you for something fully automatic. I'll stab you. Whoops. I'm using the shit out of those guns. Stop! Just turn around! I It's going to take forever for me to remember that uh, the square and X buttons are reversed. I'm doing okay with it. It's still flipping me out. If we got to give these to Steve anyways, we might as well kill shit with it, right? Oh, shit. Nice. I thought there was another dog out here. I thought there was more than one. Right, we'll go drop that off. It's still pretty dark without the... I don't... I don't know if I like that decision to, like, force the player to have to use the, the lighter. I think Capcom went, you know what the players don't really use much of? The lighter. Let's make them use it more. <laughs> Let's make them use it a lot more. Hmm, yes, that's an excellent idea. Bernard, what do you think? Well, I don't know, Bill, but I'm pretty sure it's a good idea to use the lighter constantly. But can they have the lighter and a gun equipped? No, that would be too easy. No lighter and gun. What if they gave me a flashlight and a gun? That'd be pretty cool. Nah, uh I shot you, doggy. Puppies! Not anymore. What's up, Teak? Navy proof. Is that gin? Did we just get gin? How's CVing? Uh, it's going better now. When I started it out, I couldn't see anything. And my my uh my TV remote for like adjusting things, this little uh dial right here that's like the D-pad that goes up, down, and left and right to select things, doesn't work. And I didn't realize that my TV had buttons on the side so that if your remote does break, you can use the buttons. So I went searching for that. And now that I can see the game, it's great because it was way too dark. I literally couldn't see anything. Like It looks fine on stream, but for me on my TV, I couldn't see jack shit. But now that now that I figured that out and now that we have visualness, I'm happy. I'm happy. A hex-shaped stone object. Picture of a submarine is carved on it. Okay. Sure. I can have a boat. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I'm a little thin on ammo right now, but I think things are going okay. I haven't died yet. Oh, no, I took a death intentionally to some zombies. I did do that. I did do that. Sure. All right, so what do we got here? 
How's that? How is your day going? How's your Monday treating you? Octagonal hollow? Perfect. I have an octagon. Wait, do I? Oh, I should look at this. It's a wheel used to steer a ship. It has an octa-shaped projection. An octa-shaped? <laughs> Played a bunch of Hades in Breath of the Wild? Sweet, dude. How you liking Hades? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, that's everything that I've heard that it's really well done. Wait, what? Am, am I ready to use a submarine? Hold on. Did you win? Did you beat the Hades? Guess what I'm asking is how did your how did your first uh, playthroughs go? I'm assuming your first playthroughs. Taken the palace map. That is not the map button. You got to the third area. Nice. Uh There's there's four or five. I don't actually remember. I've watched some people play a ton of Hades. I've never myself had the pleasure of checking it out. I think it's one of those games mainly because I don't enjoy roguelites or roguelites. That maybe if I can get it super cheap, I'll check it out. Like, maybe if it's ever in, like, a Humble Bundle or something like that. But, no, I don't think until then that I, I have the patience to check that out. Seems cool, though. Oh, this is the palace. I got you. Okay. All right, well, yeah, let's go boat them. Or we could go kill a bunch of enemies. And, uh, let's, let's take the boat. Screw it. It seems fun. It seems fun. But also insanely difficult. I'd like to try it. That's, that's what I'm going with. I've enjoyed the games that company has produced. And I would have to imagine that that's... What is this? A side pack? Uh, yeah, duh. Cool. I, I did not know that that existed. Loading. What weapons have you used so far? Okay, I guess we boated and now we're done boating. I mean, submarined. We subbed. We got a sandwich. Just sticking with the sword, folk. Focusing resources on unlocking other things. Gotcha. That's a very strange camera angle. It's nice that the game offers so many options. For not only weapon choices, but for 
how the game can actually play out. I think that's really neat. It takes so long for you to pick up an item. It's just like, okay, we gotta we gotta pick up an item in three, two, one, item pickup. I do enjoy the fact that there's like a huge amount of replayability. And then you beat the game and you can like increase the difficulty by doing like a number of different things. I think that's really neat. I wish more games offered a way to balance difficulty like that. That's kind of the way it is. So you beat the game and it's starting to become easier on like your standard normal setting. So you can slowly increase difficulty. And I think that's neat. And you can like control what kind of difficulties those increases are. And I think that's a really clever way. But it'd be nice to see more games offer that kind of like in-depth options to how you deal with your difficulty in a game. Rather than it just being like easy, normal and difficult, you can like balance your difficulty. Baggage and similar items have been placed here. I see that there's uh, some ribbons there, but that's not really going to do a lot for me right here. I did not know that that was a door. I'm going to go back through that. So we probably need the lighter for that since there's bats in there. On top of the fact that you have like a ton of different weapons that you can use and then all the stuff that the gods like endow upon you. What do they call like boons or something like that? So just about like every playthrough is going to be slightly different. It's, it's cool. It certainly adds a lot. It's like its own randomizer. It's randomizer the game which certainly adds to a lot of it. And I hear that there's like a ton of different like story and dialogue, depending on what you end up doing, which is also pretty clever. All right. Yeah, I just, I think it's, it's cool. It's, I know, I know I'm def defining what a roguelike is. I just, I find it neat. Not exactly my cup of tea, but certainly neat. Describing. Not defining. Possibly a control system of the airport. This device powers the boarding lift. Push the switch? Yeah, sure. Apparently, a control panel for the lift. Push the switch. No. Yes? It won't work. Something seems to be missing. Indeed. Here. Use that. I did it! Nope. <laughs> it needs two more. Dorn! Alright, well that looks to be all of this. Oh, that's an airplane! It's a water plane! Oh! I thought that was another, like, weirdly shaped submarine. <laughs> I see it. I see it. It's a plane that can take off and land on water. I got you. It's like a houseboat, but a plane boat. That doesn't make sense. How much stuff place do I? I could pick it up. I don't know if I want to, though. Screw it. We've got four other spots in the inventory. Which was just two a minute ago. A houseboat that could fly would be super cool. I mean, that's kind of what you have in that plane. It's just, you know. Kinda. Kinda, sorta. Sorta, kinda. Hey, you could deck it out. Get it all... Fancy schmancy. What's behind me? Ah, it's an elevator. Alright, so that's all that that was doing was indicating that it was an elevator. 
It's a control panel for the shutter. The markings above the keyhole read K402. We're still looking for a ton of different stuff. It's completely blocked by the load. Should have been K420. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Smoke that shit. Wait, roll that shit, light that shit, smoke it. There we go. That's 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 the rake one. Just put it in your mouth and smoke them. What's up, Scragglebum? How you doing, homie? Welcome on in. Happy Monday, or uh, it's a day. Okay, so that would be there. Hey, we got an elevator. Elevator action. Do I get to play a crane game? Shut the front door. M-E-T-H-O-D man? There is a lever. Move the lever. Yeah, sure. I like lever. Uh, forward. Oh. Left? Oh. Oh, it is the crane game. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is great. <laughs> All right. Hey, and we even got a shadow. Now that's helpful. That's what I call helpful. Perfect. You can't get more perfect than that. Oh, it's just going to hold. If I walk under there and it drops it on my head, <laughs> we get like some clear pancakes. I mean, I like pancakes. It's a control panel for the loading lift. A warning sign is visible. The lift may not operate if power levels are low. Move the lever. Yeah, whatever, man. Uh, is it a zombie lift? That's more than one. Oh my god, run. Grab the stuff. I'm on the wrong side. All right, we've got a plan. This is very intense. Where are they? <laughs> All of them. Idiots. Give me more bowgun ammo, I guess. It's a lot of bowgun ammo. That's a lot of bowgun ammo. What do we got here? Take the biohazard card. Now, biohazard's a pretty cool name. Resident Evil is okay, but biohazard... So much better. A card key shining in silver. You can use this at the military training facility. I know this. Okay, so we did all that. Oh my god, you gotta go so far back. Holy shit, we gotta go all the way back to the military training facility. Standard bowgun is good for zombies at a considerable distance and little else. Well, they, they, I do have like 10 explosive arrows. I'm, I'm using the, the dual guns right now because I'm pretty sure we have to end up giving those to Tony. What's his name? Steve. Not Tony, Steve. Steve! So we might as well just use this because we're just going to give it up anyways, right? So I might as well just go through all the ammo on it. And that way I can conserve my other ammo, build up a healthy supply, and then go balls to the walls, banana, Hannah banana all over these bitches. 
Who's Hannah? Why does she have my banana? Is that a map? Do I have a map? We don't have... I mean, that looks like a map. Do I need a map? I don't need no... Oh, there was another door upstairs. God damn it. I didn't even check that out. I didn't even check that out. Let's go check that out. I'm assuming the explosive rounds have... are pretty decent. I'm assuming. They may be garbage, too. It seems like it takes about, like, eight rounds to kill a zombie with the with the bow gun. I think each zombie is slightly different, but it seemed about... or not rounds, eight... arrows. Bolts. Bolts. Are they bolts? The explosive rounds are quite powerful. Yeah, I figured as much. So we should save those for things that I can blow up. I have ten so far. I have 10 so far. Just in case. A control panel for the elevator iron bridge? What? A control lever is missing. Of course it is. Use your teeth. Teeth are very strong. Alright, well, we came back for nothing. Hey, information. I guess that's what we gathered. My dude, what's up? Green Eggs and Sam. How you doing, homie? How's life treating you today? Oh, did I already get the map? <laughs> was, it, was it on the wall over there? It's going. How about me? I'm exhausted today, homie. I'm exhausted. But, you know, I've got coffee. We're playing more Resident Evil. So, you know, I mean, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right in that regard. Definitely tired, but we alive. We live in the good life. I'm living a life. Maybe not the good life. It's an okay life. It's kind of depressing sometimes if you really think about it. If you want to go into it. <laughs> so, I yesterday decided to uh, watch a movie. And I think I made a terrible decision. I watched the remake of Aladdin. And it was horrid. Horrid. Do people enjoy that? Because I did not enjoy it. I did. I don't. I don't know what the overall consensus for that movie was. It was not good. Aladdin was an attractive dude. So was Jasmine. Shit. Just about everyone in that was like a pretty human being. Will Smith is a is a devastatingly handsome gentleman. So I mean. There were, there were some pretty people in that. Some very pretty people. Shit, Jafar was looking pretty on point too, man. Nobody in that movie could sing. Oh, <laughs> Will Smith couldn't sing. No, uh, Naomi Scott can definitely sing. She's got she's got some vocal cords on here. I don't I don't know about the Aladdin dude seemed okay. Will Smith cannot sing. But they kind of, like, balanced out his singing. I mean, Robin Williams really couldn't sing either. I think really what was missing from that movie was, in the cartoon, there's, like, this charm. And the charm is missing from the live-action one. There's just, there's, there's no zing. There's no bada-boom. There's no, you know, there's a je ne sais quoi about it. There, there, there's just a charm about it. And maybe it's because it's animated. They can be a little bit more creative with stuff. Like, that whole sequence in, when when they go into, uh, what is it, the, the Hall of Treasures or whatever it is, where the giant tiger head lets them in. What's that called? It doesn't fucking matter. When they're in there, and Aladdin gets trapped in there, and the genie does this, like, expansive song and dance thing about how you've never had a friend like me. It's really freaking bombastic and huge in the cartoon and it felt 
tame in this version. Like the bombast wasn't there. Just like it was extremely elaborate. And it felt like they were in a cave and there were people dancing and that was kind of it. And I was like, it just, it didn't have that panache, that flair that, that the cartoon had. It was just, it was missing charm. Like everything felt very flat. And so the entire point of the movie is, you know, don't try to be something you're not. And that movie the entire time was doing exactly that. It was proving its point. Don't try to be something you're not. It was just, it was missing the ball every fucking time. And I think that's, it, it, it epitomized exactly what it was trying to say, don't be. And I felt that kind of weirdly weirdly strange like like there's a word i'm looking for it's not hypocritical but it was definitely trying to be something it wasn't even though that was the message it was trying to convey yeah the the movie ended up definitely disappointing me ironic yeah we could go with ironic there is definitely a level of a level of irony in that for sure I'm gonna shoot this guy with the with the bow gun. <laughs> All right, that made me feel good. That, that made me feel good. Hey, yeah, it was just it was missing something. It was just missing charm. And that, that made me sad. Wait, I want the military training. We're, ah, there we go. Wait, where am I? Oh, there's dogs and shit in here, that's right. I still had to go one screen over. That's not a dog. That's not a dog! I haven't saved in like six hours! Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> that definitely could have gone better. Uh, lot can be released when ventilation is complete. Do I have a uh, green herb on me? That is not... No. So I'm not picking up the red herb yet. It's electronically locked. Yep, use the biohazard card. Hell yeah. Nothing bite me. Don't bite my face. Uh-oh. That. That can't be good. That can't be good. Oh, God. What is this? Uh, uh. Oh, my God. I, I pooped a little. A little bit of poop came out. There's an indentation on the indigo blue plate. That's the second one of those we've seen. A relief is carved. It looks very old. Uh, oh, we can actually follow. What? What? No, 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 no heartbeat. Naughty word. God damn it. All right. All right. Naughty word coming up. Naughty word coming up. Uh. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha. 
This is good. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Oh, why did I look that up? Penuma penile implant. <laughs> it's, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Panuma is a penile implant to enlarge the penis. <laughs> there we go. That's a good one, right? That, that's naughty, right? And then there's a picture of Joe Rogan. <laughs> Why is there a picture of Joe Rogan for penile implant for penile enlargement surgery? <laughs> there's a picture of Joe Rogan. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I looked up uh I think it's where's full screen? It's hey now What are you doing? Uh hello? It won't scroll. Uh-oh, OBS is broken. Oh, OBS is fine now. That was weird. There we go. Look, I looked up. <laughs> There's Joe Rogan. Why is, why is Joe Rogan here? Look, it's... <laughs> I looked up. I looked up. Panuma. Panuma. And it's, it's, that, that's naughty though. How much does Panuma increase size? Well, the answer is one. <laughs> <laughs> it increases it, it doesn't it's that's not it's that's not a measurement or anything it just increases one <laughs> the fda cleared aesthetic implant increases flaccid length and girth by one to two inches on average with varying results i don't think i can look this up anymore because if we go any further i'm pretty sure there's going to be dicks it increases one penis <laughs> exactly it's 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 singular one penis. I would have not showed this if it if it if it had wieners. I'm not scrolling anymore for this, but apparently that goes in your wiener. Extra large? I want to click on all this stuff, but this this is about as close as we're gonna get to me getting my band. But there was Joe Rogan. But <laughs> there was Joe Rogan. I don't know why there was Joe Rogan, but there was Joe Rogan. Hey, that's sort of a naughty word. That's a naughty thing. It's inappropriate, that's for sure. <laughs> it increases one penis. Thanks for that, Sam. This is all your fault. Card reader silver in color. Okay, use it. I just looked up penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> that's, that's what I looked up for the naughty word, because I thought maybe there'd be like a name, you know, like there's rhinoplasty. You know, for like nose fixing. I wanted to know if there was a word for, you know, like fixing the old ding dong. Because there's got to be a name for that, right? Penility. Penality. Pen Penis fixies. Fixies one pino. Hemostatic. We can go save our buddy. And a green herb. Should have grabbed that red herb. Should have grabbed that red herb. I am... Check one, dum-dum. I don't know if I can go back yet. I love how pleasant the, the save room music is. The week's work schedule is written here. It makes you feel good. 
It's just like, oh, it is calm here. Work clothes are hung here. Must have spent their hours off here. Great. Do you not have, like, bullets or anything in your work clothes? No? You guys suck. Who doesn't put bullets in their work clothes? I always put bullets in my work clothes. Yeah, we haven't saved in a long while. I just wanted to know. Like, there's there's a name for, like, just about any surgery. So I just wanted to know what the old dickhole surgery was, and, uh... I guess we're gonna have to remain a mystery for now, but there's Panuma. And it's sponsored by Joe Rogan. So... I think, I think we've all learned something today. I don't know if it's something we wanted to learn, but we learned something. Welcome, Claire. Consider the area you are in a special playground I have prepared just for you. Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying too soon. I so want to enjoy this. <laughs> That's how I laugh, too. Well, we do now know it increases your penis size by one. Oh. And that's helpful information. Just open the fucking door, dude. Just open the goddamn door. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why? Sort of. I haven't seen anything recently. Have they found uh, laundry yet? I understand why they 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 ruled her her death a suicide. Oh yeah, I saw him. Who the fuck cares about that guy? What a what a joke of a human being. That guy just showed up at the house and knocked on the door. I, it's it's all for publicity for him. Oh. It isn't loaded. Uh, maybe these are the things that we end up giving to, uh, our buddy. I bet you this is it. You don't know much about him. It's just a funny time we live in. Yeah. He's, he's just doing that for... Hey, look at me! There's ammo for the submachine gun. I guess these are the ones. What if he ends up finding them? Well, I mean, great. Is that a hunter? Nope. The hell is that? Fucking Spider-Man? It's Mr. Fantastic. It's Stretch Armstrong. What the hell is this guy? It's locked. He shook me like a baby and I died. You've only once you've only seen that South Park episode where Cartman becomes Dog the Hall Monitor. Sounds like something South Park would do. Wow. I got like I got my shit pushed in. Hmm. Kind of nervous about shooting this guy, because I'm pretty sure we can't kill this thing. I think this thing's, uh, immortal. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, I, he was popular for a while. And then his, like, TV show kind of, you know, faded away. And, uh, I think his wife ended up dying of cancer, like his partner, which is 
definitely sad. Uh, that certainly sucks. But yeah, he hasn't been in the public eye for a while, and I think he's just trying to drum up. Yeah. I think he's just trying to drum up some attention for himself. Oh, that's really unfortunate. You know, look, I guess at the end of the day, if he's like serious and this isn't like just some publicity stunt and he's actually going to try something, sure. But I think people have more resources than him. I mean, they're, does he have a giant, you know, diving team that can like search the swamp area that the kid's supposedly in? Who knows where the kid is too? I think the consensus people are thinking is he's not... It's, it's just, it's super fishy. Everything about that is just strange and weird. I don't like jumping to conclusions or anything like that, but it's weird. There's no way of knowing. There's no way of knowing. Absolutely no way of knowing. I have prepared just for you. I... It, Please try and keep me amused, and do not disappoint me by dying. The way soon. he went missing I is fishy. So there's a thought that like maybe he went into hiding, but he easily could have just like wandered into the swamp and just like offed himself. That's that's possible. You know, it's not without reason, especially considering the circumstances. You know, you, you just, you, you never know what some people's minds are going to go through. I've been reading like a ton of stuff on, you know, online and shit like that. And then you go into forums and you see what people are saying and you're like, look at all these people trying to like analyze someone that are not doctors or have any sort of experience in that kind of shit. It just makes me giggle. Ah, uh, I want to get out of this without taking a hit here. Sucks that you can't skip this. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't like, I don't often like playing the guessing game in situations like this. I have, I don't know. It'd be nice if he was alive and he just like ran and hid somewhere. Like all of his actions are extremely suspicious. You know, he comes back without his girlfriend or fiance. They, they lived with his parents. Somehow his parents don't question the fact that he showed up alone and then for 10 days, no one said anything. They went out of town. They went camping with their kid. I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of weird shit that happened in that. Just a lot of strange stuff that would make most people go, well, this isn't normal. So Andy lawyered up immediately, right? There, there's a lot of weird there. Like, why wouldn't you report? If the person I was seeing disappeared while we were camping, I'd be flipping the fuck out. I wouldn't drive home and be like, oh my god. No, I don't know, man. It's 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 a really strange set of circumstances, but Well, I was trying to avoid going to his right because he can slap me around. He's got his stretch arm strong. Hey, maybe I should shoot him. Nothing he's doing is saying, you know, hey, look, I'm innocent. But at the same time, people act weird and some people are really fucking dumb. So what one person would think is logical, one, you never know how you're going to react until you're in a situation. You know, he could have been... I watched the hour-long video of them getting pulled over, and it seemed like they both had their own kind of issues. And you never know how, when people get frustrated with someone, what they're going to end up doing. He could have easily just, they could have gotten into another big-ass argument. And he didn't do anything. He just rolled the fuck out. He just, like, took the van and was like, fuck it, I'm done. Good riddance, you know? And just rolled the fuck out and said, I don't give a fuck what happens to you. He could have easily done that. And she could have run across some 
you know, sadistic stranger and bad things happened? Or what seems more likely, the fact that he probably did something stupid. I mean, didn't supposedly they have a warrant out for him for using or what was it? Uh, I forget what they said it was, but uh, some sort of he accessed somebody's credit card or bank card and spent money that wasn't his. So they have a warrant out for him for that. That's a strange thing. I mean, if that was her shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, I saw people going like, well, he spent money on somebody else's card. I'll tell you this. My ex, we let we let each other borrow each other's uh, bank cards and credit cards all the fucking time. So it wasn't strange for one person to be using that. Like we knew each other's information and shit like that, so it wasn't like one of those things where it's just like... It's out of the ordinary. I don't know. There's there's a lot of postulation that can go on in that, and I mean... It's easy to draw conclusions, and draw conclusions that we want to see something, you know... Foul that went down there. That's the wrong direction! Oh my god! We need to go down here? Where do I go? I think I need to fight this thing. Down there... I think this is a boss fight. I thought it was just run the fuck away from this thing. The door down there is locked and so is this one. Alright. Well, I guess we can try to fight it then. Well, it feels like a boss. It smells like a boss. I wouldn't say it's a boss. I don't got a lot of healing. Whatever, we'll, we'll try to... Sorry. I wasn't trying to fight it at first. I was just trying to run the hell away from it. So I guess we can try to fight it now. Be really nice if we could skip these cutscenes. I wonder why they chose not to allow you to skip these cutscenes in this game. You can! The select button does it! Oh, baby. You know what? I'm happy. I just started hitting all the buttons. I was just hitting start. That works. Can we skip the door? The eight minute door? Stretch Armstrong is a boss. An impossible boss. So it doesn't look like we can... Start is the logical choice, yeah. Sorry. The fact that we can skip it does make me happy. Okay. I think these are two different sides. There's like... I got it. So there's like a down here, and then we have to find a way to access over there. I got you. I got you. All right, we're good. I'm cheesing it. <laughs> I cheesed it. By using my face as a deterrent. I distracted it by using my face. Steve!
No, you gotta say something cool, Steve. <laughs> oh yeah, that felt good. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. You wish. But thanks for the help. See? This is why you need me. I got your back. Whatever. Here. Take these. He was. Machine he looked pretty guns. badass. For me? You know the deal. In exchange for your Lugers. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to call the Lugers Freddy. Thank you for the Freddy Lugers. <laughs> this thing is too cool. Yes. Now this is my kind of weapon. All right. Huh? <laughs> hey, this thing's empty. You cheated me. Up there, plenty of ammo just for you. Way up there? Give me a boost and I'll get it for you. All right, all right. Ah. Uh, my back. You're heavier than you look. Step stool Hurry Steve. Up. Happy now? He's pretty short. Claire's only 5'5". Five five. What? Now that your knight has made his appearance, he can join you in your descent into death. Me? Finally useful for something? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Wait here, Claire. Time to test out my new toy. <laughs> Do I have to be Steve? I don't want to be Steve. Can we not be Steve? Oh, God, Steve, don't be such a Chad. No, shoot that zombie. Grenade launcher ammo. We do not have a grenade launcher. It gave me two options of where to go. <laughs> Look at that picture. <laughs> Look at that profile picture. Oh, man. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can my hair do that? <laughs> okay. I don't have enough hair. I've got like five hairs on my head. <laughs> oh yeah. Steve. <laughs> I was totally Steve there for a minute. Rock for he's five six. Okay, so he is pretty short. Is five six average? I want to see what's the other way before we go that way. We need some sort of like card to get through here card reader indigo blue all right and how much ammo do i have 89 percent they both peed themselves good 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 when the zombies urinate themselves that's how we know they're dead they take a pee pee did 
There is a handgun part placed on the work desk. It cannot be used with the submachine gun. But no shit, it's a handgun. Chemicals used for gun maintenance. What the hell's happening here? So we're just like clearing out the area for for Claire or something. We really need that lockpick. Got you. So they're not going to let me pick anything up. That's fine. That's fine. We're just going to kill zombies, let Claire do her thing. Got you. That, no, it didn't kill him. Good. I didn't want to murder him anyways. Over the grid, there's an indigo blue. There's so many card readers. Caution, breaker may fail due to overload. In case of failure, raise the lever as illustrated. Ventilation device will resume operation. All right. Is that, is that a face? A relief of a weird looking face. Handgun bullets are in the mouth. It was dirty work, but this area is now clean. See, you can depend on me. You see? This thing is a lot more reliable than any person. Than people? Steve. What were you doing here? Who brought you here and where is your family? Shut up! I don't want to talk about it! Uh, he's so edgy. You can tell because Never of the armbands. Let's get going. I like Edge Lord Steve. Also, can I go back up there? <laughs> can I go back? There, there's things that I would like to have. For insertion. Alright, well. I am kind of crippled right now. That's not good. Where are we? Blue, eh? I must follow Steve. No, you must not. You must do what I command, Claire Bear. I'm gonna die. It seems that I can't descend from here. I don't want to descend. I like being ascended. It... We can descend from there. <laughs> that looked okay. Are you okay? Steve, behind you! Yeah, way to waste all that ammo, you no. dunce. What's wrong, Steve? Shoot him! Wait! I... I can't!
I don't like Steve. How did he avoid shooting me? Steve. Father. 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 <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to get all dramatic and scream. He just cried. Dad. I used to work for Umbrella. I tried to steal information. Intending to sell it off to the highest bidder. He was caught. Mom was killed. And we were sent here. Oh, Steve. He was a fool to do something so reckless. So stupid. Is this the theme song from M.A.S.H.? It's okay now. Just rest. I should leave him alone for now. We should also. <laughs> I tried. I tried. All right. Let's uh, desecrate his father's corpse. It's pee time. Steve father. It's obviously dead. Obvious to whom? I think he's still alive. It's under repair. I cannot drive it. Cool. 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 Iron scrap is blocking the battery outlet. So move it. A lift. Battery's been removed. Oh, I'm I'm in like big old danger mode. That's that's not good. Oh, hello. We could probably use the handgun again now. Hmm. Well, I don't. We've got a door here. Is this a door? that we can go through. Clearly, it's a door. <laughs> I hate you, Steve! Oh, the other door leads into, like, the Worm Sanctuary. I don't want to go to the Worm Sanctuary. I keep hitting the X button to interact with things. It's not the thing you hit. Oh, look at that. Nice. Corner ammo. So many handgun rounds. That's an elevator? This could be a save room, right? Oh my god. It seems to be a picture of this room. Okay. Why would you put a picture of a room that you're in? It's missing a painting. Uh, 
I can fly higher than an eagle. A man's portrait is displayed here. Is that Napoleon? This is evidence that a picture was hung here. Sure is. What if I was unable to pick that up? That'd have been bad. All right, well. It's very nice that they haven't provided any healing for me. I, I appreciate that. So we need a painting of what? Something. We just need a painting. I do enjoy paintings. Uh, I need health. Will the game... Oh, I can't use health. I don't have any room in my inventory. We need a... You're on the first floor. Go to... Basement? Okay. I have zero inventory space. I would like one inventory space, please. Do you think that's poisonous? Whatever noxious fumes are coming out of it. Used for ventilation. I do need to vent, don't I? Gas for the freezing device is leaking out. The, ven the, the ventilation device is working. What? Do you want to push a button then or something? Gas for freezing? What? Look, bruh, I just need healing. Looks like a shotgun in there, huh? Look, bruh. Green herbs, green gas, just put it in your mouth. There's a handgun part placed on the work desk. It cannot be used with the M93R. Well, that's a waste. Is that the M93R? Oh. Pew 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 pew. I was at a save point, but there was no bin or anything. Item box. Item box. That's what I meant. Item box. We are item box less. It's what I'm trying to find. Maybe we could go up to the second floor, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, somebody's thumping around up there. It looks like there's more explosive stuff there as well. If we could get up there, that'd be pretty good. That'd be good to have some more explodey bolts. I'm assuming that nerd came back to life. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to take the elevator up to the second floor then. This is great. I have no room in my inventory. For Niff. This game is full of shit. The two. What? Oh, this is where me and Steve decided to jump down like morons. Big dum-dums. So I gotta go out in the area with all the dogs? I got no health. Ah, oh, this sucks. Why wouldn't they give you a place to use a bin? You're make me earn this shit, huh? Well, there was another door behind me, but that's like the yard with the... Oh, Steve! Shoot Steve, take guns, win. Wait, no, no. I tanked the bender snatch with my face. Why is my health so low? Yeah... Large size relief, the imagery appears to be telling a legend. A legend of what? Me? The great... The great Claire? Was, was his name the Bender Snatch? <laughs> that was my cheese. Tanking him was my cheese. <laughs> and it celebrated my murder. It celebrated my murder. <laughs> yeah, because I'm in danger. Uh, this is what we call bad in the biz. This is what we call bad. In the biz, we call this bad. B-A-D bad. No! What are you doing? Oh my god. All right. That was my fault. That was my fault. I was trying to auto aim. That was a bad decision. I just need to go left and right. No, I didn't save over the previous one. So if we do need to go back and I do need to do something, we can do that. We'll be okay. I got this. Pro gamer here. Pro gamer. We're good to go. Don't you worry, your little head. We'll win, and I won't be dead. Can only take one hit. That's not good.
Sí, easy. Those are bolts. Just combine them with your... Just put them in your damn mouth. There are just ways you can end up in a dead game. That doesn't sound good to me. I don't want to end up dead. Who knows, boy? You might wake up tomorrow dead! An old tank is being displayed here. This could be suited to Alfred's taste. Who the fuck is Alfred? Do you not want to, like, get into it? There's got to be something on the tank that we can use, like, the shooting part of it. That'd be cool. And maybe it has a battery or something. All right, run from the murder worm. I, got, I didn't know what that was. I got caught on some shutters. Hobble, hobble like your life depends on it. Well, it did, and we died. I got caught on the shutters. Stupid shutters. Thinking that they're special. Dumb special shutters. I couldn't tell. I thought the door was right there, but that was not the door. I don't I don't know that area at all. New plan. Avoid dog. What are you shooting at? Can she change? There's no way to see what the controls are. Is there a way for her to uh, change what she auto locks onto? Like, does L2? I, you know, we can try it. I'll give it a shot. I mean, I'm already dying like every two seconds, so I guess it's all right. Hey, one of the one of the L buttons has to like change your auto target, right? One would think, but also it may not happen that way. All right, didn't mean to do that. Back to you. the hell is she shooting at? Ah, oh, if I only had more life. If I only had some life. Oh, right. It doesn't pick up on me whistling. That's probably good. I whistle like a moron. I did it once, we can do it again. I... If this was any other Resident Evil game, I feel like she'd be locking on to him, right? For whatever reason, she's not. This isn't good. This is bad. The stupid shutter. If that didn't get in my way, we would have been able to beeline it. I don't know beeline it where, but we would have been able to beeline it. Uh, 
I, 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 we're... We may have to go back. We may have to go back. <laughs> I don't want to, but we might have to. Uh, is that don't want to? L1. L1 does it. Whatever. I don't care. Just get the hell out of here. Alright. Don't die to giant worm thing. Didn't die to giant worm thing. Look at that. Please don't shut on me again. It didn't shut. <laughs> what is this? Lucked out there? Did indeed. I do like a special alloy. Oh, I meant to use it. Okay. See, Teak, everything's fine. Aha! I forgot the red herb. Oh, I couldn't pick up the red herb even if I wanted to. <sighs> All right. Can't use it from there. Everything takes so why does everything take so long in this? Maybe it's the hard drive. All right. I feel good. I feel better. I don't feel great, but I feel better than before. Do I not have a gun equipped? Okay, we do have a gun equipped. So, what happens if I go in the other room with the big guy in it? <laughs> what happens if we go in here? Ah. 
Nothing. What a lovely day for nothing to happen. Alright, but now we can use our blue key card in a bunch of places. Can I get the emblem back? It said it was made out of something special. Dogs don't know how to bite me. <gasps> I don't know what I got caught on. Let's not grab the red herb right now. Meow! That's a big kitty. There's a big ass kitty. Can we use the tank to blow up the worm? That'd be great. Tank the oh shit. Karen 2.0's gone. I'm not caring. Uh-huh, whatever you say, Karen. what a Karen would say. Typical Karen. Yes. <gasps> that guy's dead! A lot of dead guys here. All right. Can I be the captain? The albinoid. Description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. What? That doesn't sound good. Characteristics. Similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over seven feet in a very short time frame, 10 plus hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they're underwater in their adult form. What? That's not good. I want to be the captain. Fine. Grenade rounds. I don't have any grenades. Various commands may have been given from here, right? Sergeant! I would like one hot toddy and some avocado biscuits. Avocado. Oak, oak, avocado! Army proof. Sure. Biohazard breakout in the bio experiment room. Switch the security monitor. Yes. Eleven twenty six. I scienced it. The bio experiment room has finished ventilating. Finally, it's been like twelve years. The past numbered door lock system has been enabled. Sweet. No.
I don't know where that is, but sure. Oh, very nice. This is a weird graphics mod for Animal Crossing. I know. Ooh, Animal Crossing looks so strange right now. This, this. You trying to confuse me, Musereal? I'm very susceptible to confusion. How you doing? Happy Monday. M Monday. I want to go back down there. There's demon puppies. It's not bath time. But it's very screen fulfilling. Whee! You're all right. How about me? I'm tired as shit. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Yes! Goodbye, card. Hello, Capricorn. Wait, I'm having a good time. The doorknob is missing. Genius. That's how you prevent people from going in rooms. You take away the doorknob. Oh, I see it. That's the, that's where Steve was crying. Yeah. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. I'm enjoying this game. We're having a good time. I'm making progress, which is what's important. Not dying a lot. I've only died like once. So that's good. It's not a lie. It's the truth. Once. Everyone here can attest to that. Once. Do you want to... Door lock system active. Enter the pass number. Please enter the first digit. One. One. Two. Eleven. Nope. The door lock has been released. Sweet. Classic oversight of people that bring their own doorknobs. I always carry a doorknob. I carry a sack full of doorknobs. Don't ask why, but I carry a sack full of doorknobs. And a sock full of batteries. So we're just not going to count the dozen or so times you were turned into doggy chow. Uh, that is a false claim that no one can prove. Experimental objects may have been put inside. Of what? The science box? Sure, we can dump the acid around somewhere. Why not? I'm very nervous about what's going to happen. There's a dead scientist. There's nothing useful. Says you. What? I don't... Oh, God! Why? Bye, sperm. Bye, baby sperm. That's more than one. I'd like to start over again. Can we start that over again? What shutter? What? Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> it wouldn't let me go through the door. Cheater. I guess we gotta go do that again, huh? Game's full of shit. Full of cockamamie bullshit. I didn't die there. The game just crashed. You guys didn't see it crashed. It crashed. I don't know what happened. It crashed. That's why my character fell over, because the game crashed. Darn shame. Darn shame. Game crashes are just awful. You know? Game crashes are just awful. No one should have to experience that. I'm going to grab the red herb this time. Just because we can. There's a prize out there, too! So I could probably fight that worm, right? But I doubt it would give me anything of use. I'm going to shoot it with bolts. Easy peasy. And with that red herb, I can combine it with a, a gray herb to make another gray herb and lead me to victory. All right, so that painting will be used down there. We could go downstairs and grab another gun. And more grenade ammo. I think there was a shotgun down there. We can return, though. Boop. It's silly how they're trying to shock me. You can't shock me. Oh, I already read that. Yeah, I'm not going to have room for anything. Nope, down goes down. Who writes numbers on a painting? Like, that's just defacing art. That's messed up. You shouldn't deface art. Art is precious. Let's drop off some of the shit we have in the inventory here. Blurk. Alright, I don't need you. I'm about to pick up more of that stuff anyways. We could go back and try to clean up what's in the downstairs in the basement. Maybe. I could grab the gun down there. Wonder if I was supposed to go through the the door in the back of that room. Where's where's our mirror? Mirror? Yes, yeah, mirror. All right. What floor? We open that up. Right. We come up here, the shutter.
Oh no, there's no shutter in there. Or maybe there is and we drop down. I don't know. That was weird. That had me mildly confused. Alright, let's hope we can dodge some zombies here. Oh god, go up the stairs! Am I shooting him? Uh oh. Oh, here he comes. Porcupines. That's, that's satisfying. That's, that's satisfying. Turning turning the zombies into porcupines. That went way better than I thought it was going to. All right, I need a lockpick still. And I guess we need another handgun? And we can upgrade said handgun here? Maybe we can't upgrade her handgun here. So is that... That's the ventilation machine and it's venting poison into that room? That's good. That's good. It probably feels good on the lungs, right? There we go. And then there was this. Gadurp! Oh, it's not a shotgun. It's a grenade launcher. You know what? It makes a little more sense. Oh, no. Do we go through that door? man that guy beefed me that guy beefed me real good There's like ammo on the shelf here, right? Yeah, here we go. Freaking, freaking Stretch Armstrong, Mr. Fantastic over here. How in the world? What? There's got to be something in that room, right? Yeah, there's totes my goats got to be something in there, right? Is it worth it?
There's nothing special. Oh no! You can't climb up that? The switch is borked. Not good. Antibacterial work clothes are stored here. Okay. Get some antibacterial work clothes. It's an open locker. Take the stuff in the open locker. So, steal it. There's a dummy. Automatic door is locked. I can't enter. Hmm. Oh, they're dead? Aha! What was the purpose? of coming up here. Huh. Why can't I climb up on the other one? Weird, right? You would think that she could climb up on the barrels in front of her. There must be some, like, gap or something like that. Climb up on boxes? Dumb game. What's this? A switchboard. It's tightly sealed. I can't operate it. Hey, I, I guess we killed the Stretch Armstrong monsters. Well, I should unequip that. Yeah, that wasn't great. That definitely could have gone better. Oh, those things suck. The the bend smash. I don't know if that was worth doing that or not. I don't know. What I gained from that, uh, first floor. Second floor? I think I want the second floor. I think that was wrong. No, we want this floor. No, we want the second floor. Actually, no, I think we're fine here. Get off! We can do this. It's just a different way that we can go. This is fine. We just go back out by the worm. Nothing bad can happen at the worm. Nothing bad can happen at the worm.
There's an item out here too, and I kind of want to grab it, but I'm really nervous about going over and grabbing it. Last time you played this game, you ran out of resources and had to quit and lose all your progress. A bad save is what did you in. Yeah, it's probably going to do me in, too. It's probably going to do me in, too. Volteus, how you doing, homie? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Chuck it in the garbage. We hate garbage here. All right, we don't have we don't have our bag full of doorknobs. Our trash bag full of doorknobs. We left it in a bin somewhere. One, one, two, six. Genius, as usual, genius. Don't inspect the sperm monsters, the electrified sperm monsters. They're evil. So there's really nothing in there? Aw, oh, man. See, now that's, that's just, that's sad. There totally should be something in there. Yup. I have yet to run out of resources, but I am sure that that's something that is conceivably possible. Did you at least have multiple saves? Or were you just using one save file, Volteus? You had 51 bowgun rounds and like 14% on the dual guns, and you had one save had quit? Damn. That's, uh... That's disheartening. Nothing worse than, you know, like making a bunch of progress and stuff like that and then being well kind of fucking yourself over. That's really unfortunate. I don't know what I'm doing either, so it's possible I could screw myself too. Now you've got like five save files. Well, I have two right now. But now you made me nervous, and a little poop came out, and I don't like it when I accidentally poop myself. That's not good ever. Alright! Stop! There's too many! I'm doing shockingly bad! You pieces of shit! Ah, uh, the last time she was like, yo, I can't go through that. Aha, genius. Now go back through. You know what the problem here is? They made me get rid of my key card. This is where all the dogs and stuff are, but we need to go this way, I think. Because we got to get back up to floor two. Maybe I should have gone played. They were taking naps. Oh, they're like real puppos. Should have shot them in the face while they were napping. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much... Uh... I'm damn near done with the dual pistol thing. That's that's almost out. It's got, I think, 8%. People could beat it in an hour and 40 minutes. I think I've been playing for 14 hours at this point. Leave you here. <laughs> I 
I don't know how long I've been playing, but it's more than 10 minutes. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I was using the hell out of those dual pistols. I want to do that shit again. I killed some bander snatches. Bender snatches. Does RR stand for rec room? Recreational room? All right. We got our we got our uh, painting. When I originally played this on the Dreamcast, I don't recall ever running out of ammo. Imagine seeing an actual Bandersnatch. I don't know what's more frightening. We've got hunters and stretch armstrongs with claws. I don't know, man. There's there's a lot of scary shit. Liquors. Feel like it would be rubbery? Do you want to touch it? I'd, I'd lick it. At least once. With my mouth. So I want to know if it tastes like lemons. I bet you they taste like lemons. You wouldn't make something so freaky and not make it taste delicious. Or, or it tastes like lemons and limes. Okay, I got real lucky there. I didn't know there were zombies there. I didn't know there were zombies there. When it reels you in, you just eat it like Laffy Taffy. Secured with a simple lock, you dumbass. Lockpick. Gold key. I don't know what the hell that is. A memorial plate. There's something written on it. Dedicated to the training facility's completion. December 8th, Alfred Ash Ford. I don't like Alfred. It's a diorama modeled after this facility. There's a hole to put something in it. I do like putting the holes in... Wait, what? Put your hand in it. We gotta come back in here. I don't want to come back here. Yeah, it'd be like a... Maybe not Laffy... Ah, it'd be Laffy. It's stretchy. Now and laters aren't stretchy. They fool you into thinking they're stretchy. But now and laters aren't stretchy. God damn, dude! You want to die? Uh... I guess we got to go back towards the mansion. So like how in horror movies like The Grudge when it goes oh to people and they just lock up as she closes in. Hell no, you'd be throwing fists on that little old chick. I mean, you saw what it did to people. I don't think you're throwing fists on it. You might think you're throwing fists, but then you're going to be all like, and you know, dead. And dead. And, and dead. Because it's a supernatural, immortal being. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think punching it's going to do anything. If anything, you're just going to make it angrier. You see what that thing looked like? It was not pleasant. I If I saw it, the first thing that would happen is poop would come out. Because that's not natural. And I'd be like, oh shit, I'm about to die. Then I would take that feces and rub it all over me. And hopefully that feces will be a big enough deterrent... <laughs> that it'd be like eh, there's something wrong with that dude over there I'm not gonna fuck with him and go back into its well that's my game plan if it was quiet and you heard that you did 
Yes. Very, very much I died. Very, very much I died. Dieded hard. Dieded real dead. Two times. Run, Claire Bear, run, Claire Bear, run, Claire Bear. Easy. I like it. What fucking hell, man? What's this shit about? This ain't cool. I killed all those enemies. They should remain died. They should remain died. Lovely. I'm gonna shoot you. I missed. All right. One thing I dislike about games like this is you go out of your way to kill enemies. And then they respawn enemies on you. And that just, that always feels deflating. You know, it's like, dude, I expended ammo, I killed shit, and oh boy, enemies are back. How happy I am about that. It just it feels soul crushing. It's like, well, what the hell's the point? Oh, I thought that one was gold. Well, there's upstairs. Good, it's trash. Hey, it's just always so deflating. You know, you're like, oh man, I killed this stuff. Ah, oh, that just sucks. That doesn't feel good. That that really does feel like, okay, well, I'm going to be a loser then. Nowhere else in the series does that happen. Yeah, it's a bad decision. A pure white candlestick. Something's written on the base. In memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Who cares about that guy? It's been completely broken. It just really takes the steam out of you, you know? Now you know why you had no resources towards the boss fight. Ah, yeah, that really sucks. Message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when a butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica, as a commemorative to Veronica, good. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son, Tomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather, that was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise Umbrella Incorporation. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, Butler Ashford family. There's the three zombies right outside the graveyard in a certain fucking hallway in the second half of the game. Elsewhere, you kill something, it's dead, except those rooms. Yeah, that sucks. But even even enemies coming back. Like, not just... Not just in a room, but like, you cleared out... Well, I guess it is, that's what I'm saying. Like, you clear out a room, you come back, there's enemies there again. It just feels futile. It's like, I don't know where I can and can't do this thing. That, that, it's just disappointing. 
All right, so we have to push buttons. We have to know the lineage. Hold on. That's what this was about, was the lineage. It's the same child seen on the projector film. There's a message written onto the picture. Trace the Ad Ashford legacy. Reveal the true master. There's a button below. Push the button. Trace? Do we go forwards or backwards? Let's say we probably start. So, Victoria? Beautiful woman is holding a tea set. There's a button below. Push it. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to our file here. But it's a waste on your resources, too. So, what do we got? Oops. My hair tie. We got to write this down. Veronica. We got her. Here, let me... Uh, Notes. I'm just jot all this down. Uh. Oh man, I got notes from Resident Evil Three here. All right, Veronica, we did that. Uh, second and third masters, Stanley, Stan, and then Tom. I'm gonna spell Tom T O H M because that sounds fancy. Uh. Arthur, then Edward, right? Artie, and then Ed. Edward. And your father, Alex. Alex. And then, then the last one. All right, so we got Veronica, Stan, Tom, Artie, Ed, and Alex. All right, Veronica. Oh, we probably have to look at like, oh, there's going to be like hints and stuff. It wasn't just that. They were they were like telling us who was who. That guy's got a clock. That guy's got twins. So the twins are. Fuck. Edward and Alex. So that's probably Arthur. I can't tell. Shit. All right, well, we got to look at these. Red-haired man is holding a tea set. There's a button below. No, we got a tea set. It's a man's portrait. An earthenware vase is also illustrated. No, all right. We're going to have to read that again. We got twins. Middle-aged man is with red-haired twins. Tea set. That could be our dad, though, right? Or not ours, uh, the other kid's dad. It's a picture of a red-haired man in earthenware plate. No, who the fuck's got? I don't want a plate. Give me a plate. It's a picture of a man. Pure white candlestick is also illustrated. Okay, well, none of that's helpful. All right, back to the file. We're sciencing it. Okay. Second and third, Stanley and Thomas were presented with similar teacups. So, so Stan, teacup, Tom, teacup. Stanley and Tom had teacups. Gotcha. The position of the family master shifted from Sir Thomas. Wait, what? To his tin brother, Arthur. Oh, so that could be Stanley could have the twins. That could be Stanley. He could be he's the he's the father, right? Yeah, Stanley's the father. To his twin brother, Arthur. So it then went to Edward, your grandfather. And it's golden age. Also, Sir Edward's achievement. 
an established large chemical enterprise. However, Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position. Glorious Ashford family began to sink. Wait, did that say you also gave that to your dad? Ashford family tradition. A golden teacup. Uh, all right, well, I think we've gleaned all the information I could get from that. All right, so we got Veronica. Uh, Stanley had the twins, so I'm assuming this is Stanley, and he's got a teacup in this one. So, yeah, I guess Stanley. Now, I already pushed the button. All right, that guy's got a plate. So two brothers look the same. So there's two red-haired guys. He had a plate. What do you have? A tea set. I'm going to say that, that Thomas had a... Thomas got a cup. Said Thomas got a cup, so that means he gets the plate. Sure, white candlestick, that's not helpful. Earthenware vase. It's probably our dad. It's probably our dad, so. This, this over here has got to be uh, Edward. I don't know if I read something that somebody else got a vase, but considering our dad had... And then... It's the same child seen on the projector film. So that was wrong. This resets all the activation buttons in the room. So do I, I... So that is the last one. I thought we did that right. Oh, there you go. Okay, I see. So he got the... My bad. All right, so I just messed one of them up. I got him confused. Our dad got the candlestick, or his dad got the candlestick, not our. I don't know why I keep saying our. Probably because I'm not smart. All right, so it's... You. Then... You. So he started Umbrella. That was that was Edward. All right. I thought there was something that said Alexander's name. I forgot that there was the podium. I only made the one mistake. I got the two of them mixed up. Not too bad. Smash it! Take the earthenware vase. Right. And smash it. We don't want it. There appears to be something inside. Take it. Absolutely. Put your hand in there and smash it. Throw it away. It's trash. The queen ant's object was in the vase. How am I going to do with this? A queen ant object that contains a red ruby. Pop it out, baby. Give me that. Ruby dooby booby. Okay. Portrait of a young woman. Floral pot. Is also illustrated. I 
I do like solving puzzles. That's easily my favorite thing in Resident Evil games is solving the puzzles. It feel real good. Right, there were a bunch of places that I needed to use the lockpick on, but we don't have a lockpick. It's always some kind of insect, but insects are adorable, and you want to put them in your mouth and eat them because they are delicious. Wait. That's tacos. Ram, how you doing, homie? Happy day. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Alright, so this is a silver key, right? Alright. Frustration. Elation. Happy slappy. Punch your grandpappy. That's a thing. It's a happy day. Good. There's somebody over here? Oh, yup, yup, yup. Yeah. <laughs> no! That's cheating! Yeah, fuck it. I didn't shoot him in the crotch enough. The morning class got canceled, now you just have the afternoon ones. Nice. It's always satisfying when you don't gotta class up. We could save. We could save. But, you know. You know. No, don't equip! Decided to watch your favorite part of Resident Evil. My favorite part of Resident Evil is when I win. And I never have to play it again. That's my... That didn't sound good. Is that lightning? An old photo stand is placed here. Great. Something's making a noise. I don't like it. It's a fireplace. Does not have been does not appear to have been used recently. Light it up, baby. Use it. An antique music box. Nice. Burn it. I'm not allowed to use an antique music box. Oh, it is lightning. The RE series is way too good to be played just once. I will never play this game ever again once we're done. <laughs> that's that's I don't I don't actually know that. It's fun though. I've been I've been going through uh, the Resident Evil series as of late. I've been having a pretty fun time with it. Oh, that was a portrait. Something's written on the menu. First digit, left, right. That's not a digit. That's not, left, right is not a digit. Second digit, left. All right. We're writing more stuff down. Whoa. Say, whoa. Uh, first... Forest. No, I wrote first. Stupid autocorrect. First. Uh, where's my parentheses? Parentheses. Uh, left. Left, right. Second. Colon. I like that colon. Left. I don't put an N. N is not space. Stupid computer. Uh, third. 
theirs. I wrote third, not theirs. Don't autocorrect third. Right. Played it countless times for more than four years. Bright, stop doing that. Space. I got fat fingers. Apparently, according to iPad, I have fat fingers. That's embarrassing. Fourth. This does not make sense. Right? Right. Right. You must not reset while maneuvering. That's what I said to your mom. Yeah, I don't I've only played this game twice. I've only played this game twice and that was like 20 years ago when it first came out. So, my experience with this game is nada zero zilch. Shami. Uh thick books are lined up here. Great. I love thick books. The thicker the book, the better. That's what I say. So there's nothing else here? There's no Yeah, 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 yeah. I read it. I don't know what that means. Digits. I got a digit right. I got five digits. There is no power going. Turn the computer on. What? Yeah. Turn the computer on. We're hackers. It's a Unix system. No. Oh, uh, I don't want to see that again. Yeah, I grew up on it, too. Sort of, kind of like. Sort of, kind of like. God, that's so creepy. Don't make out with your sister, bruh. That's called incest. I don't know where you from, but that's inappropriate. So, for the whole 21 years, you loved it. Still remain the best. Nice. Enter the password. What password? Left? Right. What? I don't got no... Okay. There's a button. Left. Right. It's a one? One. This is a bad place to write that. I can't see. I'm going to write a one down. The one. Okay. Then left. As a nine? Right. That's a seven. Thanks for the follow. Right. 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 I can't see this shit. That's a one? 1971. I'm gonna... Four. Twenty one years. Nice. That's young. The youth is great. I'm like eighty. Oh, they're going to boink. That's how you make babies. You just lean forward and boom, babies. Oh. Okay. Why would you run towards it? Don't run towards it. It is in your thankful Nito Bandito. I can turn that off now. Palace. I don't want to be here. Can I interact with that? Are these levers? The earth would be too crowded. Earth is too crowded. Did you know there's like 8 billion people on earth? That's like 20 billion too many. It's okay for me to be here, though. 
Zo kijken. Dat is niet goed. Dat is niet goed. Ja, dat is een beetje sad. Tjoek, motherfucker! Nou! Get away from it! Is that a thing I can pick up? Oh, I am so dead. Oh, you're a cheater. If I didn't try to stop and pick up something that looked like a pickup, it would have been fine. I'm definitely dead. Yeah. <laughs> you think? You're gonna die! Oh, them's bats. That's a foot. Stone figures and images are placed on it. There is nothing unusual here. It says you. Looks pretty unusual to me. An assortment of creepy dolls are showcased here. Perhaps these are to the liking of the resident. I mean, why else would they have them? Why else would you have creepy ass dolls unless it wasn't to your liking? I'm trying to be nice. Telling me I'm gonna die is not nice. You're gonna die. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Like, trying to be nice is damn, bruh. You handsome as fuck. That's nice. <laughs> Being like, you're gonna die. I don't know where you grew up, but telling people they're gonna die is not nice. <laughs> I know I'm gonna die. Oh, that's like a dead human. Well, that's good. I thought we could light up that candelabra, but I guess not. Medicine? I ain't got no drugs. You got drugs? You got drugs, you gotta share drugs. It's been completely broken. I can't pass through here. Can't come here and not share drugs. Reminding me of something I already know. How do I take that? That's like going, hey dude, you're white. Yup. Hey dude, you're a male. Yup. You look hurt. That's like, I got like a bone sticking out of me and you're like, yo man, you should go to the hospital. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have anything on me. Why would I carry around medicine? Inventory space is, uh, inventory space is limited. Look, unless I can eat that bug, nah. Some armor on display there. They appear to be very old. You should put that on, Claire. What a mess. I agree. Uh-oh. That's... Yup. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you shouldn't be nice. Nah, I, got, I know what you were trying to say. You were trying to be friendly. I got it. I got you. Hey, man, I'm not angry. Oh, my God. How, where am I? <laughs> where are we? Uh-oh. Ah, I know where. All right, yeah, we're pretty far back. Damn. We are pretty far back. Oh, man, those stretchy guys suck. All right, so where do I need to go? Well, 
I mean, yeah, pointing out obvious things obviously is not always the greatest thing to to do. Uh, we need to hang up the picture, which is on the first floor. I think we could go this way. Yes. Aha. This is where the elevator is. Genius. Oh, but this is like where I barely made it by the, uh... The zombies. I got lucky with them. See if we can get lucky again. I did! Genius. Great game player. Amazing video game skills. Man, these Bandersnatch things, Bandersnatch things suck. Not a fan. Not a fan. Mm -mm. All right, yeah. So we still need to come back here at some point. All right. You're immortal. Holy crap. Oh, that was unfortunate. I need I need all of that to you know not die to stuff. If he's already dead, but, I mean, they came back from the dead. Zombies or Jesus? Jesus was a zombie, you know. According to history, Jesus was a zombie. Thus evil. Thus evil. I don't trust anybody is popping back from the grave. They just want brains. Brains. Big worm guy. Don't like him. We're gonna have to fight that thing at some point, I'm pretty sure. I wanna do it. Don't run into the fire! Idiot! In your religion, he's not. He was a prophet. And a zombie. A zombie prophet. <laughs> The world is very vast and different, that is for certain. Dude, that just sucks that they fall right on you. I don't like that. No touching my mouth with your mouth. You won't look like you they got they got zombies got halitosis. They don't brush them teeth. These assholes don't brush their teeth. The dirty, dirty assholes. And they probably don't wipe their butt holes. Do zombies poop? They eat human flesh. For some reason. So that means they gotta take dookies, right? Hold on. To yo dookie, it's about to get spooky. I don't need to read this, I already read it. Now it's time to fail. Alright, so. And there's guts out? I mean, like, if you eat food, you've got to, like, defecate, right? They don't have a digestive system, so why are they eating?
I'm pretty sure zombies need to eat people. They need to eat people because people are delicious. People taste like uh, cotton candy. I read it in a book. Not that I've personally tried people. Soil and green is people? Say what? Ah, oh, do 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 do. Ah, oh, sugar, sugar, do 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 do. Ah, oh, honey, honey, if you were my candy girl, it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Just as long as you read and pay attention to stuff, it's not too bad. Though reading do be difficult. Am I right? Say what? Well, I do have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old, though. Kept forgetting, so you had to read the diary and do it? Well, I mean, I just wrote the stuff down. So that I could have a reference. You know, you gotta use your brain badoodle. It's good to use the old brain badoodle. I guess we could save here. I'm not really big on trying to save here because of all that damage I took from the stupid ass bandersnatches. I guess I could. We've got plenty of save stuff. I just don't... Seems wasteful. But yeah, alright, fine. I'm gonna say... This is this is my shameful save. We're saving it all the way down there. This is the save of shame. Save of shame. Well, you have a great day, too. I could, I could bring, no worries. So I think it takes like two or three rounds to kill the Bandersnatch. I, we could bring the grenade launcher and I could take him out, but I oh don't know, man. It might be useful for that one in the room. Oh, I forgot the, uh. The Freddy Lugers. The Freddy Lugers. A booyaka shot. That's the wrong thing. This seems to indicate that there's still something in this room, or am I just an idiot? I'm just an idiot, right? Now! Well, time to die. Wonder where else we're gonna end up needing that blue card. Alright. So I know what to do here. I don't think that we need to worry about anything here. Turn on computer. I'm not watching that again. It's a waste of time. Why would that be the first thing that popped up when you turned your computer on? Isn't that kind of like screwed up? Ah, yes. Back when I was a child and I mutilated animals, I like to watch that video often. Oh, I bet you the password's still the same. No! What are you doing? One, nine, seven, one. Yeah.
I like how he makes a, like a really soft landing. I'm jealous of that guy's landing skills. Pretty badass. Big long pointless hallway. Other than that, other than that. All right, there was like eight dudes here, and by eight dudes, there was one dude, and he punched me a lot in the face. Freaking bully. And he's gonna do it again! And yeah, those guys suck. Those guys really suck, man. That's a lot of handgun ammo, man. Maybe I should use the explosive bolts. Maybe it could save me some, like, headache and strife. No, you gotta have them in your inventory. I don't think I need that yet. I don't know about that, though. These bandersnatches suck. Oh, I forgot. We need the Lugers. Freddy Luger. Yeah, I might as well lose them, use them while I can. See, that's another instance where you should just automatically use your weapon. I use an item. Like, I walk up to the door, should be like, oh, you need to put guns in there. Sure, put the guns in. Never understand that. Like, it's very strange, like, what things are automatically used. I'm going to leave this one alone, but the other Bandersnatch, we're going to... We'll kill the other ones. This one seems perfectly easily avoided. Hopefully. I'm probably gonna get punched in the face this time, though. I'm getting cocky. You don't wanna get khaki, kid. Don't get khaki, kid. Uh -huh. Got him. Yeah, I've noticed there is very little healing in this game. Like, most of the Resident Evil, unless I'm running past, like, healing supp supplies, which is... Very possible. We have not run across, like, anything. That's weird. Ah! 
Oh, I still got punched in the face, so... Okay. So it takes two explosive rounds to do something to him? I really would rather run through it, but... Creepy mouth thing? Nothing? I mean, these guys are gonna hit me regardless. It's really not a thing. It looks like it's a thing. Eh, I guess not. I'm genuinely shocked at the lack of, like, healing stuff. <gasps> oh! Well, yeah, maybe it's just because I can't see it because everything is so dark in this. That's easily possible. So when it's flashing yellow, does that mean that there's an item somewhere in here? Is that what that means? Uh, you can get off the wall? Yeah. They like tucking stuff into... Corners. I really thought she was about to bend down there. No, it's absolutely nothing. I guess not. Hey, if there is, I don't know. Okay. I got it. All right, whatever. There is no idea where it is. All right, so two explosive rounds for the Bandersnatch. So when we go in there, just equip it again. Explosive rounds could probably be best utilized somewhere else, but I don't feel as though I have a choice. Politics, literature, science, nothing useful, as usual. Really would be nice if we stumbled across an herb. I really could use that. Alright, but I know we can kill this thing, so...
Okay. So we can find an herb in here. And we'll feel good about ourselves and continue on. A fireplace. Plentiful supply of firewood here. Okay. Burn them. Don't know what that accomplished, but neat. What a mess. Okay, I lit a fire. Is the room more cozy? I would like some crepes, please. Crepes are delicious. Now, if she just walked around in that armor, she'd be so much better. Hmm. That did not seem to really accomplish anything. Upstairs we go. Green herb me game. Green herb me somehow. Can't even tell what it is. Is that supposed to be a door? First aid spray? You know what? That'll work. Ew, what the hell is that? You gonna comment on the giant creepy thing? No? Depending on what's in here, I may have to panic and... Keep focused, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? How did she know we were there? Nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. I talk to myself in my sleep, too. Ooh, free doll. Large-sized doll, possibly custom-made for me. I mean, one of these has got to be a... Oh, my God, is that a green herb? Oh, baby. All right. That was, was pretty good. Let us go, brother. A bust. 
There seems to be nothing unusual about it. What if there's a secret button in it, though? History is the topic of many of these books. Busts always have buttons in them. Just, like, turn it or move it or... Professional biology books are piled up. Great, 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 great. Books on chemicals are piled up. Even better. How do you know they're professional biology books? A large size doll. Another one. Got a couple of them. All of it not creepy. A common picture? What is that covering? This, uh... This is suspect. That. That's suspect. That cheat's suspect. Uh oh, I don't I don't like the heartbeat stuff. Can we not? Open the door. Yeah, if there's something in here. Antique dolls are on display here. They could be Alexia's. Oh, they could be mine. Doobity doobity doobity. A relief. It seems to resemble a goddess. There are gorgeous furnishings here. Nothing unusual. Smell the seat. Sniff it, Claire. Sniff the chair. Oh, somebody broke the mirror, too. Poor shame. There's not jack squat in here. Where are we? There's another side. I don't know, the door's probably locked or something. The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. Okay, let's write that down. Red King Blue Queen, return, red queen, I got that backwards, blue king, blue king, I always wanted a blue king, the path opens, stop the music box, yeah sure. Oh, well, hello there. You will be mine. Oh, God, we got to go all the way back. Oh, God. Music box is locked. I can't take out the music plate inside. Red jewel is embedded by an opening. Funny. I got it. Bloop. The queen. Red queen. Sure. My music box plate. Something's written on the back of the lid. All right. All right, well, we can go up. I want to see what's on the other side. If we can access the other side. Exquisite furnishings decorate the area. There is nothing useful. Right. Yeah, that's like everything around here. Appears to be a relief. It seems to be this woman's back. Yeah, no shit. Ah! I do like notes. Message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honored soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. What? I don't want that. What I'm gonna do with that? 
The music box plate inside has been pulled out. A blue sapphire is embedded by an opening. I don't I don't have that. Yeah, just just whoops. The triangle button should totally do it. Okay. No. Nope. Just jam it in there. Damn, I don't have a blue bug. Guess we take the ladder up into the... This could have been used to hang clothes on. Man. Great. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess we should... Uh... That was actually pretty simple. I didn't realize that that was going to be... I thought we were going to have something more to it than just, like, put the bug in hole. I got a pee. I got a pee real bad. I don't like this. The hole in the ceiling has been sealed. Oh. Oh. We have the silver key now, so we can explore the rest of the other... the rest of the mansion. Or the other house. Key made of pure silver. The Ashford family crest is carved on it. But I got a plate. We got a plate, y'all. I don't like this. I guess it's a statue. I don't like it, though. Hey, my return trip should be relatively safe, right? Does that kill the mean things? Still think there might be something out here. That's certainly a long enough pathway that there could be something there. All right, there was some shit in this room up here. One of those Stretch Armstrong nerds. Oh, God. I want to do that shit again. I think it's okay to save over that one. Alright, uh... I could probably put that in here. Which one's the thing that we always start with here? Right there? Oops. There, I want that there. I think I'm okay on this. I'm gonna leave the explosive rounds here. All right, uh, I definitely need a gun. There for sure. 
zombies in the hallway up here. We got a lot of rounds, so we're okay for now, at least on ammo reserves. That's nice. No, I want the map. Yeah, let's go to that one down here first. Ooh. I don't know what's in the upstairs one. I don't know what's down here. Yep. Please don't beat Bandersnatch. Hunk's report. Attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford. Head to the facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with the large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed. Condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. There's one thing that I don't understand. We are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300 Special Forces Unit Hunk. Wherever that guy is. Stop hitting me! Uh, I don't remember where we use that. I don't know. I may want to come back in here and use a... An earthenware pot is on display here. Break it! Could have goods in it. Nope. Lies. That's what it has in it. Lies and deceit. He's clear can take a punch to the face. A lot of punches to the face. He's tough. I respect that. Does it look like there's anything else in here? Like, I want to take those guys out. I, the only thing that seems useful in here is that. Well, and the ammo. They, they, they took off a lot of damage. I wonder if it's worth trying to go through there and get through there a little bit more efficiently. We'll see what's up here. See what else we're dealing with and then uh 
I may reload that and we'll figure something out. <gasps> Do I get to play pachinko? Uh, not pachinko. Slot machines? Shit. And more explosive ammo? Hell yeah. yeah I guess we could use that. Help me take out those guys. Antique Grand Piano. Designed so it reads out data. What? Alright, well, something goes in there. Baccarat? Let's play Baccarat. Sure. Bert Baccarat. All right, well, that... That plaque was definitely something we wanted. Slot machines. One of them's turned on. So, use it? No? We can't gamble? Worst game ever. Could play some uh, Kino. What the hell's happening, game? Oh, it's the light. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to go in there. Man, they really make you go like back and forth in this game. All right, so there was nothing up here. Maybe I can go down there and use the uh, explosive rounds to kill those guys. I got to pee, though. So give me a couple seconds. I will be. I will be right back. My bladder is screaming. Screaming. You know what I just remembered? We've got that hemostat medication that I never I never brought back. We got that hemostat medicine that I never brought back to that dude at the beginning of the game. <laughs> you think he's still alive? He could very much be dead, like dead, dead, not just a little dead, but, you know, healed over dead, like, like super dead, like not even zombie dead, just nap dead. He's probably dead. He's probably dead, right? Hmm. I'm not quite sure what we should do then. I definitely want to go back and give him that medicine because he may give us something that's useful. If I can. He may even give me the lockpick. What if he gives me the lockpick? I don't know that we can get back to him easily. He's a, he's a pretty far run. And... Uh... I think I need to go back that way anyways because of the plaque. 
So I think we should do the stuff in here first. just yeah I think I'm just gonna I I want to save that ammo and I would love to shoot him with with just the handgun but I, I don't think that I can these guys are gonna kill me pretty quickly oh you're not that's the wrong room What? Uh oh. Mistakes were made. Eh, whatever. They're dead. That could have been better, but. I somehow shot that guy, like, three times. That was bad. I don't know why I got all this shit with me. Did I not pick that up? We picked up the emblem, right? Yeah, I picked up the emblem. Did I? We'll find out here. Yeah, I did. Good. I just had the, the best brain fart ever. Yeah, I think we need to go all the way back to the beginning. Maybe I could have just taken out one of them and saved that. I don't know. When I go, when I go south over here, or, well, I guess away from the house. There's there's two of those big dudes just chilling. We're going to go down the stairs, and we're just going to slam our face right into them. Which is kind of scary. There's two green herbs in here. Damn. All right, well, I can grab it. We can come back in and grab that. Oh, my goodness. I know how controls work. We got a bunch of stuff to drop off. I don't need the plate. We don't need the plate. Definitely don't need the ink ribbons. I'm gonna drop you off. You off. It's probably good for now. We'll grab that other herb. Drop that off and then just make our way out of here. I don't know exactly where we're going. Oh, I should grab the hemostat stuff. I'm not entire sh entirely sure where I need to go back this way, but I'm pretty sure I have to go back. I'm almost positive I ran across another spot where we had to use that. thought it was a 
door or something. I think the reason why I don't remember is because it was dark as shit. I think that was the problem. Now I can kind of see, now that I learned how to brighten my TV. Alright. You go back in here. I'm feeling a little bit better on our healing supplies. We've got... How many green herbs? One, two, three, four. That's not many. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a first aid spray too. Whatever we gotta shoot, we shoot. Oh, I'm gonna get the shit hit out of me by these, by these nasty McNasties for sure. There's no way I'm not. I don't remember where there are any places to pick a lock, either. I know we've run across a bunch of them. I don't remember where they are. That makes me sad. They, they were in a building. I know there's one in the military training facility. Thought that that was the good idea to run by them on that side. He was pretty far away. Yeah, I couldn't see. When I was over here, I could see absolutely nothing. Like, this was pretty much, like, pitch black to me. Still kind of is. It's weird how this thing works. The, the lighter works. Oh, hell yeah! Pick that up, fuck yeah! Two? I'm living my best life. Alright, I think this is where Teak said that zombies just respawn infinitely. Which is... Annoying! But I think we killed everything in the graveyard. Nope. Ah! What?! I could not tell how close I was. You just can't see. Alright, bruv, be alive still. I'm sorry I neglected you for like 20 hours. What are you doing here?
hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. What did I say? What if it was the lockpick? Don't think you can count on me in the future. Now get out of here. What? I gave him my lighter? Oh no, I can't see anything! That is not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> My light source. That was my light source. That was my source of seeing the stuff. Now I see nothing. Nothing. Do I have equipped? Nothing. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, shit. Was it in that facility over there that we used the blue? I don't know where we use this. It's not good. I remember seeing it, and it was like an early on thing. So it probably wasn't the private residence. We were just there. So it's got to be like the military training facility. Maybe somewhere in the palace. Where did, where was, uh... Yeah, the submarine. Where did that bring me? Airport. I, I don't remember where to put the emblem. Fuck. Okay, uh... Yeah, there's a door down there that's locked that I can't get through, but I think that's a one-way door. I think we need it's locked from the other side. I think that's what the arrow means is it's locked from the other side. So I don't think I can do anything there. Plus, we'd have to go through all those gates and stuff. I think there's ammo there, but we're probably going to end up coming through that at some point again from the back side, I would guess. 
I don't know how, but we probably will. And that door leads us to the residence. There's a ladder in there that comes down for a blue gated door. Well, it looks like it's that ladder. Yeah, I never went through that. I don't know if there's a reason to go back through this, though. Oh, that's where all the... That's the courtyard with the dogs. I guess I never went into that back left corner. What is this top left corner? That leads me to a locked door. There's a save room. Oh, oh, that was the elevator room. That's the elevator room. Maybe we do have to go back there. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go out and then go back in. No, go in. Fuck. That sucked. I mean, we're all right. I really don't know where we need to go with this. I guess we're just going to wander around till we figure it out. It could be back in there. I don't think it is, but it could be. Something inside my brain goes no, but it might be. That guy's slow walking. I'm coming back in here, I guess. It wouldn't be the steam room. There was nothing else in there. Is there really nothing in here? Could there be something else in here? I don't know. I don't know if it flashing yellow actually means something or not. We may actually be done with this. Ah, I'll go down the ladder! 
Not before I get bit in my face. Okay, so that was useless. I wanted to go down here, though. There was... in here... What the fuck? I killed him! Great. That's not good. I killed those two guys. So me killing them was completely pointless. That sucks. That really sucks. I just saw the drawer there and I thought maybe we could open it. Hmm. It's a big empty room. the item up there but I can't do anything about it ah, it really sucks that I took those guys out and they came back that doesn't make me happy that's terrible I'm just gonna have to look around in here I don't think it's in here it might be back in the flight facility or somewhere around there If I die here, I'm not gonna... Did I just never take that? I gotta put something square in the mansion thing here. I don't know where we're gonna get something square from. This is where all the healing supplies were. The indigo blue plate portion appears to be made of a special alloy. We could melt that down, too, maybe. Maybe I need to copy something? Oh, there's something in the top left there. It's a gun. Huh. 
So maybe that whole thing regre uh, recesses into the ground, regresses, falls into, sinks into the ground. Recesses. I don't know where we need to go. Right now, that was where ammo was. Huh. <laughs> it's a tank. No, yeah. I want to drive it. How do we know what Alfred likes? Yeah, I guess we just have to go back over there. I don't have a choice but to go back towards the, the airplane facility. I don't know what else we can do. All right, the elevator isn't running. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure where else to go unless it's in the house. Right, 16 rounds? That was a lot. But I don't have to deal with them anymore, so... Take it. It's either in the house, which I don't think it is, or down over this way. Somewhere around here. Maybe. And I guess since I'm here, Pokataru. What's up, homie? How you doing? How you doing? How goes your day? Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm going to get accosted by bats now that I don't have a lighter, right? The bats are just going to get all up in me. Get impregnated by bats. Bat babies. I want bat babies. I've had too many bat babies. All right, well, that takes enough. We don't, we, I don't have the, the item for that. I left that back. I left that in the, uh, the item chest. I don't think there's an item chest around here. He's fish. Can we eat fish?
Right, there was something that needed a little lever. Oh. Well, that's good. Glad that guy's there. We have two new friends. Wonderful. A402. Yeah, this is where the lever was missing. That doesn't help. I'm running out of places to check. I'm going to feel really stupid if it was in the house. Was probably in the house. I came all the way back over here for no reason. That's not good. Please don't murder me! Thanks for uh, giving me the old head check. I should have not come back here. <laughs> Shit. Maybe it was all the way back. I mean, I remember seeing it really early on. Something saying I needed an indigo plate. Wasn't there, so that was a waste of time. And we summoned those boogers. Meaning I took damage I didn't need to take. We may have to, like, restart my, my save file. I guess we go back to the house. Look around in there again. I don't know where. Man, this sucks that my brain fried here. I usually do a decent job of keeping track of where to go. It's rare that I forget about something. I'm too old now. That's the problem. I've aged out of my memory cells. They've all abandoned me. Makes sense. Makes, makes sense. <laughs> No. Definitely wasn't in the bathroom. Shit. I don't know then. Right? Right? I don't know then. I don't know. I guess we got to go back to the other facility again. That's the only thing I can think now. Unless there was something in the back room over here. I don't think there was, but 
we check it out. Yeah, that's where the guns were. Once I figure it out, we're, we're resetting and we'll just redo some of this stuff. At least this place isn't massive. It's big. It's not massive. I didn't think it was something over there. It's always the last place you look, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. All right, well, I don't think it was in there. I can, on the plus side, that means like, I don't get attacked by the dogs. We can dump the blue card because I don't need the indigo card anymore. That's nice. You know, maybe the door was blocked off by the plate. Hey, well, no. Worth a try. Oh god, I'm gonna get eaten alive here. Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> Alright, so we're dipping to the right here. Doggy. Oh. Great. Enemies are back over here. Cool. I missed! Stop moving! Stay still! This guy. Lovely. These are my feet. Found it. I was hitting down and square to turn around. not going to worry about healing or anything here, but alright, we found it, so now I know where to go. It was back at the start. Ah, shoot the thing that explodes! <gasps> that zombie wanted my meats, and then we gave him my meats. Alright, what do I have in my inventory? Oh, we got to do all that over again. Okay, that's fine. Probably. No, I, I can drop that off. We don't need that. He wanted my ooey gooey fresh and tootie. Russian duty. He's dead, right?
And we learned. Learning is half the battle. I also have my lighter back. That's nice. Thanks, gang. I don't think there's anything else we can pick up here. I, we need to remember that we have something for that piano. But there is just an obscene amount of backtracking in this game. Like, you, you backtrack in the other games. It just, this one seems just way more backtracking. All right, I think we need to put on the explosive bow gun. Take out these meat whistle guys. Give him the old one-two buckle my shoe. All right. That went better than the last time. I don't think that report actually gives us anything interesting. Well, other than lore. If you like lore, I guess it's interesting. No. The old one, two, stink on my sphincter. All right, well, it's nice to have, like, an idea of what I need to do now, rather than me being a complete moron about stuff. Right? Learning. Understanding what it is you need to do. That's always nice. The downside is, I don't know what to do after that. I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have died so quickly. Got a little more knowledge. Well, I am the king of rock. There is none higher. Sucker MCs better call me sire. To burn my kingdom, you must use fire. I won't quit rock until I retire. I better not burn down my kingdom. All right, we're going to be able to pick up a couple of green herbs down here, too. Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. He still hit me in the back of the... What the fuck, man? Yo, that's some bullshit. Please go down the stairs! Like, how many rounds did that guy take? Jesus Christ. What? Weren't there herbs over here? Aha.
Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. He's lobbing for some hemoglobin. Slobbing for hemoglobin. You ever slob for some glob? No, no. Perfect. Slob for some glob. The hemoglobin trotters, they're all right. I'm all right with the hemoglobin trotters. Big fan. Okay. Yeah, that guy can take a nap. get our lock pick what nice don't think you can count on me in the future now get out of here you're not nice i gave you some hemostat hem hemostatic hemostat and he's all just like eat a dick that's not nice it's not nice. I did something bonerific. He does not reward me with hugs. Meat hugs. I just want one meat hug. I don't know where I am. Oh, God. Oh, whatever, dude. I thought I killed that guy the last time. I think he was crawling around. No doggy. Stay away from his head. Butt nugget. Slobbing for the globbing. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but it makes me laugh.
Jesus. Jesus. A little salty about that. Alright, there's at least a green herb over there. That's good. Oh, lovely. I see you napping there, dead guy. Dead naps. All right, I saw the first aid spray in there. There's a dude in a body bag, that's good. That's good. Body bag's been left here, as it should be. It appears that he's been anatomized. He's not breathing. Anatom anatomized. Anatomized. Bloodstained scalpels. Good. Anatomized. 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 I don't know all these medical terms. I got my doctorate in scientist. Anatomist's note. There's a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses that the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It is a brutal ceremony with the demon next to me. I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It is especially critical. No one discovers the sacred place that only he and I know about, I swear. The basement of this medical building will be kept secret. Of course, I keep the key to the sacred place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they will never be able to tell that it is the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. What? I won't know what a key is unless I see an elaborate mile of the human body. Something seems to be missing. No, give me an eyeball. Y'all just handing out free eyeballs? Is that really it? Looks like there's more stuff you can interact with. Like there's a picture there and a bottle. Yeah, I've got a first aid spray on me, so I don't feel like grabbing that. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Oh my god, just open the door!
It's a sturdy, well-made chain. A handcuff is attached to an end. Very nice. As it should be. Oh! I got him in the dome. It was cute. This is a strangely shaped chair. We have another one of these. An enhancement part for the M93R was inside the Dura Aluminum case. Custom handgun, N39R Burst. It can be adjusted to fire three bullets in succession. I don't want to do that. That's a lot of bullets at once. There's a lot of bullets at once. Weird devices are lined up here. We've got another one. I've got another one of those briefcases. Now that I have the, uh, the tool here. So is there no point in coming here yet? Yeah, I needed an eyeball. I don't have an eyeball. That's not good. How many biteys are in here? Uh, hello. Oh, it's two of them. He's fast. I evaded him. Like a champion. Dude, off. That's some bullshit. He did have an eyeball, though. Yeah, it's an eyeball. Ah, triangle should be the menu. Oh, we getting spooky. Hey, I'm just gonna run. Ah! Bad bats. I don't have a. We should. Uh, I shouldn't use. Oh, fuck.
The stone statue's holding a rusted sword. Take it? No. Stone statue's holding some armor. Holding a helmet. None of this can be good. Can I push this? I don't want to die. I'm going to die. Why are you not pushing it? Easy. Uh, that's an Iron Maiden. Statue made of iron, there's a hole in its chest. Oh my god. So much stuff. Oh, nice. Or what else do we have in here? There's a button here. I wonder what this weird device was used for. Open? Okay, nothing. Probably didn't need to do that, but hey, that is dead, right? This appears to be an old watermill. Okay. <laughs> okay. Strange devices are on display, indeed. I mean, we got something. I guess there's that. We did indeed grab something. Dude, get out of my hair! I just healed. No, no! Run, Claire Bear! Genius. Alright, well, that's for the piano. I guess we can pick that up now uh i see the camera i see you camera i think i don't but i do 
Uh, there's at least one herb out here. I guess we can combine it. You're fucking kidding me. Nine shots. Holy crap. Why? I guess we're doing all right. Oh, there's a save in here, isn't there? Yeah. Already mailed Leon. There is some grenade rounds and stuff in here. If we can pick them up, there's not a ton of zombies trying to eat our ass out. Okay. Maybe not an ass ton of stuff, but there is stuff. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Yep. Okay. Uh. I think that's it. Kind of hoping there was going to be something else in here, but I guess not. And not to be too greedy, we got some B.O.W. rounds and stuff. I guess this is optional coming back down here. We'll uh, save up and I guess make our way uh, back to the house. Still pissed off at those, uh, at shooting down those, uh, Stretch Armstrong guys. I'm, I'm salty that they respawned. Alright. So we just dump our stuff here in the, in the bin. We'll keep going. We got flame around somewhere, right? Ah. Huh. Okay. Thought I had flame rounds. 
Oh, man. I don't think I need that yet, and there is a place in the house that I can use. Oh, I can hold 20 rounds. Oh, yeah, let's check this out. Nice. It's real nice. Here, let's make some more. It's, since there's no shotgun, I guess this is kind of like our shotgun in the game. Oh, those are acid rounds. Oh, okay. Uh... I'm just going back to the house, and the house has the save thing in it, so as long as I don't get too mangled on my way back, we're all right. I didn't realize we had 20 rounds on that now. Very nice that they used that guillotine. You'd think that those were, you know, like, passe and not popular anymore. But yeah, man, guillotines are still cool, right? Puppy, no! I know that this is probably a bad idea, but I want to go back in that house. No puppies, no puppies, no puppies. Too many puppies, too many puppies, too many puppies. I think I left something in here, which is why I want to come back. Yeah, there's a green herb, great. I don't know that that was worth it. Last time I was in here, I couldn't see too well. I don't think the map gives me any information. Oh, enough information. These don't be zombies in here. That guy definitely looks grabby. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Kind of sucks not having the, uh, the lighter anymore. I guess the only thing in here was the green herb, which may or may not have been worth it. I'm going to go with wasn't. I'm going to go with very wasn't. All right, back to the house. Woo. 
We're doing fine. So then, when can we use... Like, I can't make modifications. I know, probably a waste of ammo. 19 rounds, probably a waste of ammo. I should have used, uh... Probably could have just run by him, but I'm scared too, man. Those dudes hit hard. Well, not that hard, but hard enough. Greetings. You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear. What? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? It's not nice. Grab his testicles. <laughs> Steven! What? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. Yo, that was fucked up. As you may be of some further use to me, I'm going to let you live a little longer. Okay, bye, Bert. What the fuck? He's magical. When did, when did Wesker get magical? What the hell, man? When did he, when did he learn the dark arts of magic? What a dirty McTurdy. That stupid Smurf. Uh, so we're probably going to get the blue... Blue bug here, if I were to guess. All right, data. This is data. I'm a good guesser. I'm a good guesser, aren't I? I got my mom made up. Come on, get in, get in. Ooh. Let it ride. Tonight's the night. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to dump you off. Pretty sure I need to take that. I think otherwise we're okay. Might as well save, right? I mean, alive is alive right now. So I don't think that there's a save at the house anyways. 
Okay, I don't so much remember what we need to do here. There's the... Okay, so we just gotta run immediately to the left and hope we don't get punched in the face. That was not to the left. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was very much not to the left. What the hell, man? That's so many, dude. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I'm not okay with that. Hey, what else am I going to do? Mm hmm. Just don't hit me, don't hit me. He did it despite my wishes. What are you shooting at? I'm scared to see what's going to be up here. Are there going to be more of the, the string cheese guys? Why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't they come back? This is horrid. Why? Just go in the door. Oh man, like why? Why? Why did what why? Music box lid is open. Okay. Oh, we have to use the
so many enemies, man. So many. Why? A wooden horse. It's gorgeous work. Sure. It's a wooden horse. It's a gorgeous work. Okay. Nothing useful. Like we can't use the doll. Steal it. Picture of an inn is drawn on the wall. It appears that the keyhole is the mouth part. Keyhole mouth part. I don't want the key. I don't have anything. I can't see anything. I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. Stop running into the same corner. Looks like a key, right? It's designed so its wings can be detached. Detach the wings, sure. The dragonfly's wings have been detached. All the wings removed. I don't know why I did that. That was weird and creepy, right? Possibly a scene from a fairy tale. There seems nothing to be strange. There's nothing strange about it. All right. Oh, and this will allow us to come down into her room. I got it. Wait, did that wall flash? No. Lovely. Newspaper clip. A 10-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university. The international corporation Umbrella Chemical Inc. offered her the position of head researcher. Cool beans. A library of chemistry books and encyclopedias. Great. Study Morphe. Literary compendiums. I do enjoy a good compendium. Insect specimens are neatly displayed. Great. Various gadgets. Okay. Aha! I tell you, so often I'm just hitting the X button. It's so silly. Gotcha. Confession letter. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She's everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family, which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that has been achieved, I'll build a palace where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, with I as her servant. That is my dream and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be the proof of my love toward Alexia. It is the purpose of my existence. All other people are meaningless, and they shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I. I love a good prostration. Devoted to my beloved Alexia, 
Alfred Ashford. Aha! Air Force. There we go. That was, that was the last one that we needed. I'm going to get my ass kicked on the way out of here. I'm just going to get destroyed on our way out. So much backtracking. All right. It's a shame that it really feels like there should be something else up here. Ammo, like all that ammo I expended, nothing. I use so much to get up here. I mean, the game's been kind of generous as of late, but man. It owes me. I think there was one more drawer somewhere that we could get into, and I don't remember where it was, but I think there was... As a matter of fact, I don't think I visited any of those places again where I could open up the lockpick. Because I did that before. It's got to rotate at some point, right? The hell is that noise? There was just nothing. Claire Redfield, hold it right there. We meet Hi. each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Me. Wait. What's going on? <laughs> ah, Steve. <laughs> A secret door. Uh, after her. He got winged. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Oh. Alexia's dress is abandoned here. They had time they had time to change. <gasps> it got louder. Like considerably louder. Second, what just happened? So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean oh. he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. The self-destruct system has that been freak. Activated. He's trying to blow us up along all with the entire facility. Come on, we gotta get to that airport. Right. Yeah, no shit. Uh, you just gonna lead the way, Steve?
He didn't kill any of the zombies on his way out. God damn it, Steve. You owed me. Fucking... Him. Cause that's fair. <laughs> cause, cause that's fair. Three. <laughs> it fucking sucks, man. That's some dinky dong bullshit. Ah, we're okay though. I mean, we've got I've got a handful of heals, so where's the other crest thing? Oh. feel great about getting hit so much, I'll tell you that. Can I not go back? Okay, so we can't get any of that stuff that I left behind there. That's unfortunate. Fuck, I kind of want to go back and grab that shit. Hey, it's just a handful of rounds, but it could be helpful. I don't have a lever. We gotta get to that airport. I think one was a first aid and the other was some acid rounds. The acid rounds could have been helpful. Kinda wanna go back. Wait up, Steve! That's a bunch of goodies that we leave behind. do here there's if i left all that stuff behind 
Where would I get this stuff from? Like if we got all the way here and I was just like, dough. Where would I where would we have gotten this stuff from? Hex shaped stone object. A Jeep. This is not like there was a place to pick that shit up here. No. Apparently a control panel for the left. Yep. So I guess some of this other stuff's for Chris, I guess. Oh, there's the lever. No. We can't take off unless we raise the bridge. Leave that to me. You stay here and make preparations for takeoff. There's the lever. Silly not to. Really do want to go back and grab that shit. I mean, it's more healing and stuff. That can never be bad. Having one more... What? Can't get out. That was that was that was not the door to leave. I'm gonna get meat chopped. My tasty tenderonies. Stay away, ye foul beast. We're fucked. Oh! The string cheese guys didn't show up. That's pretty good. Oh, that would have been awful. What? We just gonna jump onto the plane from here? The plane! The plane! What is this? Where I'll be? Oh, this isn't good. None of, none of this is good.
Y'all aren't gonna like eat my eat my nip nips off. I feel like they want to eat my nip nips. Door is broken. Oh shit! Hell yeah, B. All right, I'm feeling that. This device controls the bridge's oil pressure? What the fuck? Okay. Airport key. Oh. It's a key for the motor-driven shutter. The word K402 is written on the tag. I got you. So I don't do anything with that? Jump into the tank of water. Um. I'm definitely confused. Confused like a genius. I'm surprised there isn't like a countdown sequence. You'd think we'd be counting down. It is nice that she turns around. On an elevator, so you don't have to manually do that. That is, that is really nice. I don't want to know what's in here, right? Oh. What? Spice controls the room's air condition. Okay. giving me saves like everywhere TP cockpit I didn't even have to save there Says to me something crazy is gonna go down, but all right. I think I got this. was it very underrated game i don't think it's underrated i think just about everybody loves it underrated means like people hated it i think this game was pretty much critically praised you discovered the game you're playing it actually on your channel too nice uh i think i uh, oh no there we go she just stopped pushing for some reason yeah i don't think this game's underrated at all underrated means it was just like, you know, it got terrible reviews. I think this was reviewed exceptionally well, you know? I think just about everybody had a boner for this game. Also, how you doing there, Mr. Axit? Axit? I can't say that with my mouth. Axit? Oh, I thought that's what we were doing. So what the hell am I doing here? What? You know what? Oh, I need to... Do what now? 
Are we done? Do I need to oil up the bridge or something? Like I got, do I need to get it all moist? Do I need to give it moisture? Oil pressure. I don't need to oil it up, lube it up. I, I'm, I'm done then? The bridge is up. The plane can take off. I shouldn't operate this now. Uh, but how does one get back to plane with the bridge out of the way? I fucked up there somehow, didn't I? I think I need to go back into that room where the save was. Maybe I was supposed to, like, open the gate door or something? I thought maybe we needed to apply some oil. Oh, that's an L and not an I. My bad. Say underrated because a lot of people always speak of RE1, 2, and 3 and rarely Code Veronica. I don't know. I think the, the community is pretty big on uh, Code Veronica. It's a tough one for sure. We just needed to open the door. My bad. I don't know. I think the consensus on the game is that it's pretty neato bandito. I will not allow you fools to escape. This is what you get for trying to oppose me. Now you feel will. my revenge. <laughs> I wish I could talk like that. Thanks for the follow. That guy's got club hands. Is that Bobby? Is that Iceman? What the hell is Iceman doing here? Ooh. Why am I here? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, okay. I guess he's not going to let us squeeze by. I guess we got to pop him a couple times. All right. Well, they gave me some grenade rounds. Oh, no. I got to do this again. Yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. It's been a long... I haven't played Code Veronica in... Probably since 2000, so it's been 20 years since I've played this, but it's been, it's been, it's been fun so far. I've died a few times, like zero. Why does she just stop right there? Don't stop. Get it, get it. I mean, we got healing and stuff. All right. Can we just skip that? No, no, just let me skip it all. I don't care about all the. It's going to take like 20 minutes for the clock to count down. 
Why is it counting down when it's loading? <laughs> it doesn't help me at all. I'm... Can I go back into the facility? Or is she going to be all like, I got to get out of here. My potatoes. Okay, yeah, I figured. A shark ate me. <laughs> I did all that just to die to the dumbass worm. That's my bad. Whoopsie doodle. Uh, uh, you see, what had happened was. Uh, uh, oops. Whoops. Okay. This is great. We'll just watch it again. This big ass worm that wants to eat my uterus off. I don't like it when things eat my uterus. It's very uncomfortable. Okay. Don't fuck around and try to go in the door. Just go out the other way. That's what we do. See? Easy. Easier than squeezing lemons from cherries. Okay. Out of. What the fuck, dude? What a piece of shit! What a giant piece of shit! I'm gonna make a breakfast. I'm gonna get you oatmeal. I'm gonna feed you plain oatmeal. What the? Why are the grenade rounds so bad? I've got some exploding uh, Q tips. Maybe we should use the exploding Q tips. <laughs> the exploding Q tips. What are they called? Bolts. Maybe I should use those instead. Ah, fuck it. We'll try one more time. We got we got twenty exploding bolts. Fuck this, man. The grenade rounds ain't doing shit to him. Let's get the bolts. Screw this shit. It's a weird boss. It's a weird ass boss. And what the hell is this guy, man? Who makes an enemy with club hands. Like, the only thing that thing's gonna be good for is punching people in the face, run! Which he's pretty good at. It hurts. It hurts a lot. I thought when he took a knee... Okay, that was like nine rounds.
Fucking hell, man! The grenade launcher was better. That took a lot. Oh, I can't go back. I wanted to see what was down that alley. That took a lot. I don't know if the bow, the explosive bow, is the right thing to use there. That was a lot of that. I feel like that could have been better utilized other places, but whatever. The, the grenade launcher was... He needed to be way too close for the grenade launcher. I was afraid I was going to get smacked in the face by him. I guess it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. It didn't really make a difference. It's using shit regardless. Why, why is it counting down while we've got a inescapable cutscene? I mean, like, door transitions and shit like that. Shouldn't it pause for the door transition? It should pause. It should pause for me. I should have ran the other way. I'm a cripple now. Was there something over there? No, I wasn't anything. We did it, Steve! And by we, I mean I, you lazy bitch. I was starting to get worried. No time to explain. Let's go. Right. We're out of here. Time to say goodbye to this death trap. I'm a cut fucking Steve. Why is it so loud? It's got some terrible audio balancing. Yahoo! Uh, Yahoo! Finally over. Yeah. Claire, I'm sorry. I know I caused a lot of trouble for you. No, it's okay. It was hard for both of us. Well, I really hope you find your brother. I know what it's like to be alone. Oh, Steve. <clears throat> so, where should we go now? I could take you anywhere you want to go, Claire. Not Canada. <laughs> I hear Hawaii is nice this time of year. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> You got any maple syrup, though? My butthole is quite dry. <laughs> He's gonna get into a tank. <laughs> what the hell? Don't you need people in a tank? Oh. Oh. Wait, why was there ammo under it? This game is not over yet. Now you will see what real terror is all about. <laughs> it's this game. He's got a fighter jet. Where did he get a fighter jet from? How does he know how to fly it? Where did he get fuel?
cargo room hatch is open. I'll go back and check it out. Thanks. I've unlocked the cargo room door. I'd rather not. The game wants me to save, doesn't it? I uh, like 8 billion saves. I'm not going to heal. Healing's for punks. We got this. I'm going to shoot down the goddamn fighter jet with no health. We just need to see what the hell we got to do here is to be perfectly honest. Before I do anything, we need to see what's happening. If I got one complaint right now, it's this, it's this like, oh, it's a very scary door opening. Oh my God, these scares are frightening. Heartbeat, heartbeat, heartbeat. Just go through the door. Oh, God. Steve, he's back! And he's got a hand sword? Materials preparation complete. Catapult ready. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's fair. Basically shooting him with a pea shooter. I think we just need to delay him until the catapult's ready, right? I think we're trying to knock him out out of the back of it. Or maybe I knock him down and and then I use the catapult. We could try that. Yo, that dude just like tanked. Tanked all of that. That's... That's B.A.D. bad. <laughs> It'll add more suspense and frustration. You bitch. You bitch, that hurt. What am I supposed to do? That's not good. Holy crap, this guy is a god. Maybe we use a different, I could use different ammo. Is he a B.O.W.? We got acid. I got bow gas, bow gas, bow, bow bow, bow bow, bow bow. Or maybe you just run around until it's ready. I don't know. 
I don't know. Wish we didn't have to wait 30 seconds between each try. That'd be nice. Oh, I didn't equip the grenade launcher, did I? Okay, that was cool. Okay. Well, that wasn't, that was not the solution. I guess it's something that's kind of easy to overlook. It's just kind of like tucked away in the corner. I, mean, I can see people overlooking that for sure. Let's try flame rounds. Because he just ate all that shit. It was goddamn breakfast. If not, we do have those bow rounds. Hey, that dude ate that shit for breakfast. Or, again, maybe we don't have to shoot him. Maybe we just need to wait. I don't know. Seems weird, though. I think maybe we do need to, to bring him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. How in the world do I avoid that? Oh, good. <gasps> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Both rounds. Uh, I don't know what the hell a B-O-W it is. A uh, bunch of wieners. It's a bunch of wieners. B-O-W stands for bunch of wieners. Bunch of wieners. We're just shooting dicks at the guy. Fresh, hot dick. Right in your face. That's gonna feel good for Joseph. Mmm. Oh, well, that's the wrong thing! I so got out of the way, you piece of shit! Stop hitting me! Holy crap! <laughs> that did not go well. Let me tell you. I hit him with gas, though. Do you think he liked it? I think he liked it. I don't, I don't even know. This guy's a veritable god. All right, I got a plan. I got a plan. It's probably not a good plan, but it's a plan. I'm just gonna run around like a moron. I'm gonna hit him with the catapult thing. I'm gonna run around like a moron. We're gonna avoid him. Maybe. 
I think we need to do some damage to him. I actually think we need to do some damage to him. Or... How do you avoid that, man? Piece of shit. This is going well. I, I can't tell if this is a gimmick fight or not. It kind of feels like a gimmick fight, but at the same time, I don't I don't know. Ooh, this is rough. This is this a tough one. I have yet to figure out how to get around this nerd. Oh, well, we're dead. I'm not even angry at that. No, I need to heal. I don't know. Obviously, we have to knock him out of the back of the plane, but I don't I don't know when the the catapult is ready. Why does it have to recharge? Why can't I just jam on it like 20 times? That makes sense to me. Oh, this guy's a bully, isn't he? great if we could do something to this guy all right maybe we do need to weaken him a bit maybe i do need to punch him a bit with the with the grenade launcher and it's 
I thought there'd be like an announcement that the thing is ready, but I'm dying in like five seconds. Fuck, I was trying to heal. I should have healed before I shot. You expose yourself so long after you shoot. That was that was my biggest complaint about the other Resident Evil games. Like, all right, fine. Can I move while we're like getting the gun ready again? That's frustrating because you just stand there. You're just exposed. I do have it equipped. The thing is not reloading. I have no idea how to avoid this guy. Everything that I try to do, he's he's just there. This is tough. Small small spaces for fights just always is rough. It reminds me of fighting Nemesis on what was it, the train or the bus in three? I didn't like that fight. Also felt like I had a little bit better of an arsenal in that game than we have here. How do you get away from his charge? There's nothing I can do there. No, man. What was I going to do? Every fucking time. <laughs> There's no fucking way I can fight him. I can't avoid a single one of his attacks. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I don't... I don't like this at all. Every time I hit him with a grenade round, he's just like, ha ha, kaboom! Maybe we don't hit him with the grenade round? I don't like this at all. You just sit there and you're exposed and there's nothing I can do. Now, there's got to be some sort of strange gimmick to this. Get out of there! Dude! Well, that was dumb. I try to wait to the last second to run away from him, but yeah, that was obviously not that smart. I really don't know what to do against this guy. Maybe we use... Maybe I use that shit. Maybe we use the explosive rounds and just nail him with that. Because apparently nothing else I'm doing is working. This sucks. I really think it's just avoid them till the catapult's ready, but I don't know. Every time I shoot him with shit, he's just... 
pounding me into the ground. My ass is sore from this beating. It's so sore. I really do not like this fight. I genuinely don't like this. Come on now. Really not dead yet, huh? How the fuck do I avoid some of this stuff, man? I don't think I need to hit him. I don't think I need to shoot him. I don't think we need to do damage to him. I think I just need to hit him with that catapult. I think it's just purely a gimmick fight. I just don't know how to avoid him. No, don't put that in there. Take it. I'm not doing jack shit to him. I don't know. I don't know how to get away from any of his attacks. Like that charge attack is just brutal. He comes in and if he swings wide, I mean there's nowhere I can go. I don't I don't know how to handle him. This guy is a straight up bully. Yeah, I think it's just hitting him with this. Good. That made me feel good. Come on, man. I just... No, 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 no. Whatever, sure. Maybe I can weaken him a bit and that'll send him off. Whatever's happening here, I do not like it. This reminds me a bit of Nemesis in, what was it, 2? Blended. Ah, dude. Mm. 
Maybe it is a damage thing. Maybe it is a damage thing. Like, you do enough damage, then the... the thing triggers. And you hit him with it. And you do enough damage, and the thing triggers, and you hit him with it. I don't like this. Whatever, whatever's happening here... I don't like it. You know, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get out of his way. The... The grenade launcher has problems, for sure. It's just too slow. Maybe we'll come back to this tomorrow. Am I just going to constantly get hit by him? I don't know how to avoid him. I'm running. I can't get away from him. This guy sucks. This guy just sucks. No? Yeah. I'm missing something. There's got to be something I'm missing here. This is frustrating as hell. I was having fun with this until this moment. Like it's been it's been a little bit rough, but I like this game at one point. Like what the hell's wrong with me? This is awful. I beat this before? <laughs> I beat this before? I've beat this twice? Uh, hello? Can you? Oh. advice there man that's that's great fucking advice thanks uh i don't need help man i know i'm complaining but i don't need help I know, I know I'm dying. I know I'm frustrated. I, I'm very frustrated, but I, I appreciate the thought, but I definitely don't need help.
I still can't figure out what if it's like a time thing or like if that's what causes the catapult to activate. I can't figure out a time thing or just It's got to be a gimmick. Come on, man. I can't get away from his... Is there like a dodge attack that I don't know about? He's too fast. Maybe I should bring some more healing in. Like another, another heal on top of this. I just don't want to waste healing. Two's already a lot. I mean, I needed I needed to heal once, but I'd like to be able to do this with just one other heal. Frustrated but cute. Two. Just don't know if you have to kill him. Bless him. Bless him. Oh, you mean like blast him? Or wait? Yeah, I don't know, man. Hurt. Got you. No worries. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Serial Killer. Je joue au video game. Just waste fucking time. Come on now. It was three times we hit him with it. Fuck. It's a gimmick. I don't think I need to shoot him. Maybe we do.
What the fuck? You can't see! I think he just needs to be like further back so the catapult hits him when he's like further back. Like towards the, the edge, but I, I honestly don't know. Hurting him and then hitting him with the catapult didn't seem to do anything. I really hate this. Should probably just bring more healing. Three times wasn't enough to do anything. Like, we're not going to hit anything. Get get Steve back here to help. Where the hell are you, Steve? Filled with some type of explosive? Well, then use the explosive. Oh. No! Dude! Oh, I was trying to get away from him. I don't know if I don't know if shooting is anything that I need to do here. I think we just need to catch him towards the back. I think maybe if I have him closer to the back of the, the edge of the plane, when we hit him the second time... Maybe? Man, dude, how was I that? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And how the fuck was I caught on? God damn it, man. Yeah, if I could just lose him back there, I think we'll be okay.
I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like it's explosive. Just shoot it. <laughs> Just shoot it. I hate this so much. Okay. Oh, I got hit a bunch of I forgot. I got hit a bunch at the top there. <laughs> Wait him with this. That's all. This will work. This will work. Be real nice to finish this. We've been here a while. Way harder than it needs to be. I still don't know how to dodge his attack. He's so fast, and he can close ground too quickly. I, I do not like it when bosses are so much faster than you, and you don't have much of a chance to escape them. I really don't know how to deal with it. Thanks, game! Get out of there! Perfect. What happens if we just bring all the healing? We just heal, and we heal, and we heal. I really have no idea what to do. I'm just going to shoot the shit out of him. Heal a few times. Hopefully we'll get him. It'd be great if we could bring him down to a knee. I mean, that's what I thought we had to do. Like, wear him down, wear him down, wear him down. Get him onto a knee and then deal with him. I don't, I don't know. Are you such a bad shot? Fuck. Well, that didn't go well.
As long as I don't take too much damage, we're okay. Come on, man. I don't understand why I'm not fast enough to sprint down there by him. Yeah, the most he does is just recoil a bit. This is, this is rough. I'm terrible at this, clearly. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't, I can't get by him without getting hit. That's unbelievably frustrating. I would really like to be able to run by this guy without taking damage, but I, I, I for the life of me, I can't figure it out. Dude, maybe I just run at him? Maybe we run at him. Nope, you run at him, he hits you. Multiple times! What are you aiming at? Dude! Yeah, it is 100% a distance thing. If he's back here and we hit him, he's done for. It's a distance thing. I think that basically just confirmed it for me. It's not, it's completely a gimmick fight. Has no idea, no, no worries about his damage or anything. It's just gimmick. All right. Just going to do our best to try to dodge him here. Because you saw how close I, I triggered it and he caught it like immediately and shoved it back. So it's definitely a distance thing. So he needs to be pretty far back, then we sprint forward and hit the button. So it's just buy time, buy time, buy time. I got it. At least I think. All right, so he was like in the middle of the plane there, which is why that happened. fact that she just can't come on man it's such bullshit
Oh. You kidding me? He couldn't have been further back. I'm getting my ass kicked by this dude. A badly. I, I thought I had it. That wasn't it. So maybe we do need to damage him a bit. This dude's just pushing my shit in something hard. That was fun running a circle around him. That was pretty cool. But that wasn't it. Just open it and get out. You don't need to be here. Like, he was all the way at the back of the plane. He couldn't have been further back. I think we do need to damage him a bit. No, I don't think this is endgame. We're, we're like halfway through the game, sort of. There's like a whole scenario where Chris runs through the facility and then there's another lab that you have to go through. This game's pretty long. This game's pretty doggone long. You're kidding me. Definitely think we need to get some damage on him. Yeah, dude, I've been dying a lot here. I a lot, a lot. Stupid fucking... I don't like this fight. I do not. I do not like this at all. Like, I get what I'm supposed to do is knock him out, but how we knock him out, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I saw the cock and balls torture there. I missed that smoke. I missed that. There's cock and ball torture. Yeah, it was fine up until this point. And then this 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 just started to like kick my ass. Yeah, this is definitely cock and ball torture. I can't go anywhere when he does that against the wall. Like, that is impossible for me to get out of the way from. Where do I go? I, I don't have time to turn when, when, I, when, when he gets up, so I can't run away from him. This is so brutal. Oh, I need more healing. I just should have healed again there, but... So we get some damage in on him. We hurt him a bit. We keep him at the back of the plane. And then we eject him. Fingers crossed. 
I don't know how I can get them any further back than what we had them before. I had him right at the back of the plane, and he did not go flying out. Why? Pisses me off so much, man. Yeah, the computer has a recharge. I don't fucking know, man. I really don't know what to do. He sucks. This just sucks. This isn't fun. This just sucks. If I knew what to do, if I knew what to do, I probably wouldn't be so frustrated. I just have no idea what it is I need to do here. That's what I think I'm most frustrated about, because everything I'm trying just fails. That's what I'm frustrated about, is that I just keep failing. I'm just tired of failing. I want, I want something to, you know, go right here. Failing, ain't I? I agree. Failing's awful. I genuinely don't know what to do here. I've hit him, I've hit him three times with... The big thing, and it's done nothing. With the catapult. I've hit him three times with the catapult. This is so, this is such a dumb fight. Maybe a fourth time? I don't think that's it, but yeah, maybe. Come on. I thought it was I thought it was against the edge. Like I thought I thought it was like towards the side. I didn't think I'd get knocked out. Fuck. Doesn't matter what we bring. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm speculating. 
Like, I thought maybe it was gimmick, and we just make sure that he's all the way in the back when we hit him again. But that didn't do anything. It's got to be some damage and then and then knock him out. It's got to be. It's the only thing that I can think. It's President Evil story. Not really. Resident Evil story is stupid. The games are just fun. I don't play Resident Evil games for some intricate, entertaining story. The stories are dumb. It's just fun. You know, shooting zombies, killing shit. I'm all about it. It's my own fault. <laughs> it's my own fault. I've never exactly found the Resident Evil stories interesting. I mean, the first one's got a little bit of intrigue to it. You know, Mega Corporation, you know, experimenting with bioweapons and accidentally creates the undead and unleashes hell upon, you know, the the manor. It's, it's, that's interesting enough. Everything else I could... It's eye-rolling. It's fun, though. It's fun. just can't get away from them. Dude! He couldn't knock me against the wall. You have a lot of patience by this point. You would have checked the YouTube guide. I want to figure it out, man. I want to figure it out. I'm I'm close to I'm close to going. All right, let's let's just get some help here. I'm close to it. Not yet. I think it's a little bit of combination A and a little bit of B. I think we need to do damage, then hit him with something. I don't know how much damage that is though. I can't bring him to a knee. Don't watch the guy. I'm close, P buddy. I'm close. Do it old school. I'm trying to do it old school. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying. Kill me! Oh god, I don't think that's it. Ah! <laughs> 
No! Oh, he was moving differently. He was moving differently. Do we really do have to do damage on him? Fuck. That's a lot. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It sucks, though. It's just, all right, so we do have to damage the hell out of him. Sucks. I'm using so much of my shit, though. That's the... Yeah, well, now at least I have an idea. So you, you do have to damage him up real good. But I'm using so much of the supplies that I have. That's the bad part. So just damage him, damage him, damage him. Wear him down. Keep him at the back. Then do some shit to him. This sucks. Yeah, uh, this just sucks. God, he sucks. That fight sucks. That is horrid. Horrid. Finally, I agree, man. Finally. Holy crap. Well, we learned what we had to do. No more explosive shit, though. That's unfortunate. Can I jump off the plane now? Bye, Claire. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. It's tightly sealed. Can't open it. What's in there? What is that? What's glowing in there? It's somebody's giblet? What kind of giblet is that? Yeah, we were there for like an hour. Well, it took a while to figure it out. What was wrong? Oh, nothing. Just a giant cockroach that had to be stepped on. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. God damn, that was hard. That took a while to figure out. It's flying in autopilot mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies, but I cannot let you escape now. <laughs> Alfred, cross-dressing freak. I was just being too conservative with that fight with my ammo. I just should have gone all in from the beginning. Oh, thank God. Steve? Dude, that's creepy.
He's pulling an Al Franken, man. He's pulling an Al Franken. That's fucked up. Don't pull Al Frankens. Where are we? Latitude, 82.17 degrees. That's the Antarctic. <gasps> We're over the Antarctic. <laughs> what? I mean, better behavior? Hey, those are the seaplanes <laughs> that left the island right before us. Then that must mean... This place belongs to Umbrella. He's got a cute choker, though. He's got a very cute choker. How you doing, Yaz? Happy morning. It's morning for me. That's so loud. There you go. First half. Oh, my God. I used, like, everything there. Jesus Christ. Save seven. <laughs> I never want to do that again. Holy crap. Let's never fight that tyrant again. Until later. That oh, <laughs> fight made me so angry. I'm happy, go lucky, hey, running in place. Up, Steve. Oh, oh. We're still alive. Why didn't you land the plane? Better. Better. <laughs> Can we get one of those like heart vignettes over him? I love you. Thanks. Shit. Those pink heart vignettes. Oh, uh, <laughs> the plane's trashed. Well, let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Okay. Let's do it. And now there's eight billion hunters we have to deal with. Welcome to hell. Emergency evacuation, VTOL storage, restricted area. Go in there anyways. That's the special area. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. He's put that on. I used everything, damn man. So much. If I come across another boss, we're never gonna do anything. We'll never win. We'll be forever sad. Okay. The box. Oh! <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was I was waiting for something to happen. <laughs> Standing there like an idiot. Uh, something's supposed to happen. Uh oh. You know you got trouble when they're giving you blue herbs. 
<laughs> sure, whatever. You know you got trouble when they're giving you them blue herbs. A metal shop machine with a diamond cutting edge. I can use this to process metal materials. What? Why? What? I want to let them out. It's really annoying. Oh my god. Ah, they're all downstairs. Door is labeled machine room. What? Uh. What? There's no other way. Do we just jump down? I must have missed something in here. Hey, man. Open your cage. Uh-huh. It's very, very excited. Super excitable. Well, can you process my gun? Process these nuts. Then maybe there was something I missed over out here. I don't think I did, but maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh oh. I see. I don't like this. Kyle? Is that you, Kyle? You look so different. Did you lose weight? I want the map. Let me have map. Alright, all of them are going to come to life and chew my little face off. It's quite a mess. Oh, bless this mess. I can't see anything. Oh, there's some ammo on the shelf. No, I wanted the ammo. <laughs> Guess I can't pick it up. Oh, no. A monster might have been the killer. You think? This... this is fine. This is... This is... This is fine. Everything. Oh, what the hell? Ew! The thing put something in his butt! Wrecked him! Damn, they killed him! That is the bad kind of insertion, man. That is the bad kind of insertion. Wait. No, I don't want that there.
Pretty sure sodomy is illegal in Antarctica. Nah, everybody li likes to do butt stuff. Except with insects doing butt stuff. Insects are not allowed to do butt stuff without permission. Mmm, butt stuff. There's an indentation in the shape of a halberd. I can't see anything. It's so dark. What the hell? Why'd you push that? It's locked. No keyhole can be found. Where's the light? Alexander's memo. My father, Edward, discovered the mother virus in cooperation with Lord Spencer. Ah, right, the Spencer Manor, right. Who was also a nobleman. They studied it for the purpose of military use. Eventually, their study took shape. They turned a variation of the mother virus, the T virus. They named a variation of the mother virus, the T virus. Turned. I'm good at reading. To camouflage their research, they established Umbrella Chemical Incorporation. I majored in biogenetics and have been involved with a top secret project supporting my father's research. However, my research went through a difficult phase and my father died in the middle of the project. We are now at a major disadvantage against other researchers as there is great competition in the field of T-virus research. I have disgraced the honorable name of the Ashford family that our great ancestor Veronica established. If nothing is done, Umbrella will be taken over by Spencer. I must expedite the project to its fullest without being detected by Spencer. After much thought, I decided to establish a large-scale advanced research facility. It'll be located in the transport terminal that I created by using the abandoned mine in Antarctica. Within the facility, I'll have a room built. It'll be similar to the design of my mansion, the legacy of the late Trevor. I will be able to cherish my sweet memories there. For security purposes, this confidential project will be given a code name. It is the name of the beautiful ancestor of the Ashford family, Veronica, whom I wish to revive so badly. What the fuck? Oh, that's why they're researching about bringing back the dead. He wants to bring back his dead great 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 Great, 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 great. I don't know how many greats, grandmother. The fuck? I am confident that the result of my research will be as glorious as her name, and that honor will be restored to the Ashford once again. To the Ashfords once again? I didn't read that right. What's banging and where? Oh. Yeah, this is good. It is gerbil. Thank God it wasn't a zombie. Butler's letter. Sir Alfred, please forgive me as I must tell you of my abrupt departure by leaving this letter. I first served your father, Lord Alexander, and have so long and have for so long shared in the joys and sorrows of the Ashford family, Lord Alexander disappeared unexpectedly 15 years ago. Then an accident during an experiment took the life of our dear Alexia. You were forced to become the master of the family at a very young age and nearly lost your sanity from the sorrow of having lost all of your family members at once. There was nothing I could do and I felt powerless. I first thought that I should kill myself to apologize. I then realized that it would be an insult to our dear Lord Alexander and Alexia in the other world. 
Scott Harmon, Butler Ashford family. Would you kill yourself? Yes. It seems to operate on electricity. Nerds. You really could use some electricity. Because I can't see shit. And I want to see shit. It's very dark. Alright, who's up for a really bad decision made by Serial? Bad decision time! If I die here, I'm going to be very sad. Stay away from the bug! Oh my god! All right, let's go grab the shiny. Let's go grab this shiny. I want that map. Why can't I just shoot him now? Sploop. Oh, there's ammo there, nice. All right, perfect. This dude's a god. I don't so much want to go over there. I'm just going to wait back here like a coward. Still getting up. What are you doing? Okay. See? Perfectly good, bad decisioning. I didn't get my toesy woesies eaten? Worker's Diary, October 30th. When I joined Umbrella Inc., I thought that I would be able to live carefree for the rest of my life being employed by this huge corporation. It's a joke that I ended up being a driver at a place like this. I asked for a position change, but they completely ignored me. It feels more like a prison. Work's extremely demanding, and there's nothing fun about it. I'd rather be dead. Sounds like every job. <laughs> oh boy, work sucks. November 3rd, my hard-earned vacation was canceled suddenly. I heard they failed to secure enough manpower due to a mistake made by the facility ahead, Alfred. The facility head. The facility head. The boss. Got it. Alfred. That fool doesn't deserve forgiveness. He doesn't even treat us like human beings. Sounds like Bezos. Stupid Bezos. He makes people pee in bags. November 5th. I heard an interesting story from a guy who's been working here for over eight years. He must be awfully patient. He also has a thing with penises. He really likes dicks. He says that there is a man who has been confined for over 10 years, locked up in a cell located deep below here. People call him Nosferatu and are deathly afraid of him. What an absurd story. November 10th, at midnight I woke up to an ominous growling sound that seemed to be coming from deep underground. It's one word. I'm so pathetic to have been frightened by such a foolish story. Then again, I suppose anyone would have a hard time maintaining their sanity if they were confined in a place like this. Anything else on the table? It looks kind of shiny over there. Y'all got donuts? I seen you. I seen you. Can't hide from me.
Mm. It's unfortunate. I was thinking that there was going to be something over here. Pineapple Express. <laughs> style? You ain't got no style. Style. Hi, Ted. Hi, hi Ted. You think he heard me? <laughs> Dairy move, motherfucker. <laughs> that movie's great, man. Pineapple Express. It's like killing a unicorn. That movie's great. It steals. It's got it's got so many lines borrowed from like action movies. Like it pays tribute to so many different movies. That movie's just absolutely fantastic. There we are. I thought there was other ammo in there. Put it into maximum overdrive. Saint it. You were ruthless. Ruthless. <laughs> I love Craig Ferguson, man. That is my dude. He is absolutely hilarious. I'm upset he hasn't been in more things. Like, I demand Craig Ferguson. Though I did watch a movie about the impending apocalypse where he was the devil, and it wasn't good. It was not good. It was it was really bad. Like, like really, really bad. I was like, oh shit, Craig Ferguson in a, another comedy that I've never even heard of about the apocalypse? Hell yeah. It was bad. It was it was bad. It wasn't this is the end either. I don't remember what it was called. What the titty poop? What was that? I ran through fairy dust. Oh, thank God that didn't kill me. What the titty poop? You ready to suck today's dick? Actually, hold on. Yeah, man, Jeff Goldblum. That movie's great. That movie's great. I have watched that at least once. At, at least once. I think I'm going to leave the grenade launcher here. We got a lot of saves. Early game, they were not being generous with the saves, but they doing it now. Oh, they doing it now. I don't understand how I got two 15s, but I'll take two 15s. Oh, that didn't count as a save. I guess that kind of makes sense. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I spent like two hours on that dumbass tyrant fight, man. Alright. I think I'm probably gonna have to call it here. I got shit to do, man. I'm a grown-ass adult. We gotta do stuff. We gotta do stuff. I just can't... No, you keep your damn fairy dust away from me! It impregnated me! No, I'm pregnant! I spent like two hours on the dumbass tyrant, dude. Maybe it wasn't two hours. It was like a good hour and a half, though. I got pregnant, yo. It impregnated me. I'm not supposed to get pregnant. I'm too young for this shit. I don't want to have no goddamn babies. Dude, that fight sucked. Hey, that fight, like, sucks. Suck. I don't have a weapon? Shot him. That could be a game killer, dude. I use so much shit there as well, man. So much shit. That could be my game killer, you know? Oh, good. I'm poisoned. Well... That was brutal. It took me a long time to figure it out. Like an embarrassingly long time to figure out what we were supposed to do there. There's a notice. Anti-B-O-W gas. Handle with care. I love gas. Put it in my mouth. 
It's a power switch for the sorter. I don't need no damn power. What you want me to do with that? Do I need, like, am I gonna be a forklift operator? Yeah, that dude was brutal. It took me so long to figure that fight out. Free babies! I think they're done hatching on me. We got that going for us. It's all right. I don't care. I mean, if we end up dying here, it's all right. <gasps> oh, we turn on the sorting device and then I got you. <gasps> sparkle, sparkle. Weapon. That's how you know there's a weapon in there. It says weapon. You stay away! Nice. Yep, now we're dead. Lots of chemicals. Wonder what they're used for. Chemicling. That's usually what chemicals are used for, chemicling. Are you got any chemicals to science? You got any chemicals to science up? I need to... I need to science me some shit. You ready to science? That's what I say to all the kids. Y'all ready to science? And then I'll punch them and take their lunch money. I don't do that. Why would you keep shooting that way? Jill. Missiles are lined up here. Wonder what they plan to use them for. I don't know, Poindexter. I don't know. You're the science geek. Can I climb it? Yeah. <gasps> I miss kicking their heads off. What the fuck? Okay. I mean, if you're just gonna give that to me. Shoot you in the butthole. Okay. I did not need to shoot him in the butthole. It's locked. Explosives are set. The detonator's missing. Found the detonator. That was tough. Heat sensitive. All right, rub your butthole on it. Rub, rub your butthole. All right. Uh... I don't have anything that's got heat on it. Y'all got any of that heat? Miami heat. Kind of like fallish. This was not too hot. What if I just shoot it? What do you mean heat? I feel like that's a bad idea. Like, where am I going to get heat from? Do I have to go to the registry of thermodynamics? Thermo. Seems to be part of the sorter. It appears that loads are collected here. What kind of loads? What kind of loads you be collecting? Loads of pubes. One pube. Pubis. Do you have a pubis? I think I'm delirious. I think I'm delirious. 
Pewbone. They call me Pewbone. Mr. Pewbone. Hmm. Bow wow wow. Baduga. Gas mask lock releases if a gas leak occurs. But that's a bad noise. That's a spider noise. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> Those were different kinds of spiders that I know never net seen before. Well, that was unfortunate. All right, I think that's going to do it for me. We got some exploration there. I've been going a pretty long time. Nine and a half hours. Fuck me. All right, that's a long time to be gaming. Uh, I'll be back tonight, I think. So we'll uh, we'll continue rocking out with our rocking out and continue to play some... Uh, What's this game called? Taco Friday. Taco, Taco Friday. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue this. Uh, we'll continue this tonight. I think it sounds good, right? Maybe we'll be able to beat it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that 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 tyrant fight really kicked my ass, and it depends. There's uh. There's a good chunk of this left. There is a good chunk of this game left, so who knows? But it's been fun. Other other than that tyrant fight on the plane, I have been having fun. It's just that thing was brutal. Brutal. It was a bully. That fight was a straight-up bully. I don't like being bullied. Y'all shouldn't bully. Know what I mean? I'm also starving hungry. I'm also starving hungry. I did not have a huge dinner, so I'm excited to to get my mouth on some foodles. Get my mouth on some foodles. So thanks everyone for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. I'll come back. We'll be back tonight. Maybe we'll be able to beat this tonight. I don't know. It's a it's a pretty it's a pretty chunky game. We still have to beat up uh Claire's thing, and then Chris has got to come in and save the day at some point. We get to go all the way back through the facility that blew up there. So either way, thanks everyone for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your mornings, afternoons, evenings. What do you guys got going on? It's like twice as long as a typical RE game. Yeah, uh, it's 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 pretty chunky. It's pretty chunky. And uh, normally I'd say let's go like host or raid somebody, but I just I wanna I wanna go grab food. So uh, either way, peace out, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it, and I'll be back tonight and. Maybe we'll beat it. I don't know. It could be could be a three day stream. What's today? The thirtieth, the twenty eighth. That is not the thirtieth. <laughs> Either way, I'm out, guys. Peace.